Enough of that. Enough of that. Let's get this show on the road here. Hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, for joining us tonight. As I'm going to be joined by a lovely group of gentlemen to uh, recount all the uh, goings on that occurred this past weekend at the 2024 Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival in Nashville. Tennessee. Uh, Nico, my friend, thank you very much for the $10 super chat. Okay, team, let's have the scoops. Welcome back, Piz. Well, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. A couple of shout outs before we get the ball rolling here. We've got Eerie Spirit tuning in over on Twitch. We got Brian Trash here. Uh, we got Andy Breckenridge here with us tonight. We got and Andy Shoemake as well. The Andes are here. We got Witch Hunter. We got Jess in the chat, Cable Channel 11. We got Cliff Booth here, the world's biggest Feruza Balk fan. Uh, we got Ben Grimm in the chat. What's up, Ben? How you doing, sir? Oh, I'm a, oh you're calling me a 10. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Got Phil's Creepy Vids here. All right, very cool. Luke is here. RJ is here. San Andreas. DJ. All right, I'm going to bring on these fine folks and we're going to get the ball rolling here. First up, I'm going to bring on Slasher Home Video. Chris, how you doing, man? What's up, man? I didn't expect to be the first one. <laughs> keep, gotta keep you on your toes, man. How, how are you? Good. Good, good, good. Did you, um, did you, did the storms that came through here kind of blow over we, your area? We live like right under where it went. Like it just missed us. We got like wind all day and mm -hmm. some rain, but okay. like literally the next town over had tornadoes touchdown. I heard, but like we luckily were right underneath it. So we're good. Mm, that's good. Yeah. We got lucky here too. Um, just, you know, wind, uh, rain. That was about it. So I mean, bad we got, wind, though. We we really didn't. Know. The wind wasn't even that bad here. I mean, we got we got pretty lucky. It ripped off of like a strip of my siding that goes across like the roof. I'm gonna have to fix it. Mm. <laughs> mm. But it could it could have been worse. So I'm cool with that. That's all yeah. that happened. Yeah, it could have been worse. Not not far south from here, they did have a ta a tornado touchdown. So we we were lucky scary man it is it is but uh, it's good to see you here um thanks yeah. for having me right on also joining me tonight we've got dan from flesh wound features what's up dan what's up piz how are you doing doing good man doing good good to, good to see you again so it feels like it's been forever yeah i know i was gonna say it uh post con blues but uh it's good to see everybody back on stream mm -hmm. yeah there's always that um the post convention hangover you know yeah yeah a, and for some event. and for some of us in this panel a literal hangover yes so yes. Well, we'll, we'll most of us right not some of us most of us. <laughs> <laughs> the purple uh, chongo purple I chongos baby was. Purple yeah. Chongos. Purple Chongos. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. There that go. was um, you got a rep of Chongos. We'll, 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 we'll talk some more about the Chongos <laughs> here shortly, I'm sure. Uh, actually, let's bring on the man who I think was behind the creation of the Purple Chongos. Yes. Jonathan, what's up, man? How are you? I don't want to take credit for the Purple Chongos. That was a collaboration by me and Chris. And actually, In Too Deep is who came up yeah. with that. And they too were, deep gets we full credit. To back to the hotel on the way down to Nashville, <laughs> and I was, "What the hell is a purple chongo?" But I want one, like so. And so we yeah. made it happen. We figured out what they were. Story. The purple chongo. What what exactly was in a purple chongo? Let's break it down for everybody. It's gin, preferably yep. Bombay, Bombay, Ocean Spray, Cran Grape, Minute Maid orange juice, and ice. And these boys, Jay and Chris, had to run around Nashville to get all of these ingredients. Well, no, that was that was Corey and Jay. Oh, is that Corey and Jay? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. 
Uh, there, there was one part of the convention I, I asked, like, where's Stingray? And he was there. He's out getting booze. <laughs> <laughs> Boozing it, man. Yeah. He got the good gin for that. Like, we got Bombay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what the recipe said, man. What we wanted called? to try it the right way. So, <laughs> most authentic Chongo experience. We <laughs> it was it was my very first uh, Chongo experience, and it was it was certainly <laughs> memorable. <laughs> certainly memorable. I'll wait to elaborate more on Chongos till everyone's here. It, it actually, I, th- I think it was Stingray who uh, who made my Chongo personal. Yeah, that was a personalized yeah. Chongo. Just you got the last Chongo. That oh. was the end of the Chongos. That was the end of the line. Wow. Yeah. I I feel I feel very privileged. And Jay so, was the chemist like the whole time. He was mixing he was. up. He was all mixing the that shit like Walter White. <laughs> he, per, he he perfected it there towards the end. So he did. Uh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, let's bring on uh, uh Stingray's partner in crime when it comes to the, the liquor run. We got Corey here. What's up, man? Here he is. Doing well. Good to see everyone's back to being legless. Um, yeah. Always comforting to see. I'm the same height as you fucking <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we ran out all over Nashville and got alcohol, and uh, Jay was accosted by a Michael Berryman lookalike clerk yes. at the liquor store. So. Jay's got a face for getting accosted by a people. <laughs> yeah. Accosted, accosted how? I don't know. Jay was just saying he was running some game on him, so I, maybe he can answer that better. And then there was borrowed, a, borrowed a his gen- phone. There was a gentleman with a. I'm going to go ahead and say just a a plethora of face tattoos <laughs> that was attracted to Jay outside of McKay's, and that was just like yeah. his buddy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he still okay. gets texted by the the, yeah, the girlfriend the, or yeah, wife. Whole thing. We'll let Jay. Yeah. Him. Very <laughs> strange. <laughs> Sounds like Jay's got some stories to tell when he gets, and, and he's on his way, so he'll be here soon. He's got some stories to tell. My goodness, holy lord! Ah, uh, crazy one Saturday night, especially. Yeah, Saturday night got a little wild. Yeah, Saturday definitely. Saturday night was nice. Hey, Corey, it's good to see you, man. That's good to be here. Good to see everybody and everybody on the chat. Yeah, right on. And, and we've got one more person in the green room waiting right now. Who could it be? I do believe it's Swaggy G. How you doing, sir? Swaggy was our pledge for the weekend. (laughs) (laughs) It was a lot of firsts for me. Trust me. Purple Chongos, McKay's, uh, the the tattoo convention, all that stuff. Did you secretly get a tattoo? Uh, No, I, I got a couple already. I got it whenever I was... 18 19 uh, okay. i don't know if i'm going down that road again i'm i probably need to get it covered up because so we're, we're, okay what kind of tattoo are we talking about here all right in the late 90s the bob wire was really popular oh, <laughs> oh no does it go all the way around swaggy or did you say it, it's complete it's all okay, the way there around. you go i mean that's at least that's something is it tribal that's barbed wire <laughs> or normal barbed wire it's normal uh it's it's supposed to be thorns but it's not it looks like bob wire it's really cheap it, you could imagine you're 18 you're going on the low end <laughs> and whenever you're 41 you, you kind of regret that decision mm-hmm. what's that. what's really awkward is it's a barbed wire tramp stamp that goes all the way around <laughs> <laughs> it is on the lower back yes correct <laughs> So you so you got the barbed wire. What's the other one you got? Just just let just let it all out. Oh man! Well, it's a it's a cross. Uh, okay. Above it, so at, le- yeah. at least it's at least it's not a girl's name. Yeah, yeah. You it know, was, see, I, mean, I was gonna say that he had that like God smack sun around his oh. belly button. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, no. Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> Uh, grown man, <laughs> rocking that out. Hey, Batista, you gonna tell him? That's true. Okay, you yeah. say something to Batista about it. He noticed he covered it up too. He so. did. Yeah. Somebody yeah. probably said something. Yeah. Somebody that, was bigger uh, than him. <laughs> that Goldberg tattoo was really popular too. At the yeah, time. I listen. I, 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 I remember. Everybody I had to that, but I never. Got oh, it. there's a lot of those running around. Yeah. There. Yeah. I was. I was gonna. That's what I was saying. It's. Barbed wire, at least it's not tribal barbed wire, because that would just be a little worse. Oh man, I had some <laughs> friends in the in the late two thousands that got caught up in the tribal movement. 
Hey, it was it was long <laughs> over by it was long over by no then. late two thousands or you know oh seven you know oh eight you was there was still residual tribal douchebaggery going on. Oh. I think uh, the dumbest tattoo a guy I went to school with got, and he was drunk. He got Weezer like the band like on his upper back. Oh, yeah. this was my okay. first tattoo. <laughs> Jason. That's not okay, bad. Jason. It's yeah, not bad. That's pretty that's cool. Not bad. Hey, yes, Jason. Do you guys think that when like 2000s nostalgia takes like full hold, that tribal tattoos will come back and tramp stamps and shit? I think that would be hilarious. Will. I think tramp stamps will. I hope. I hope the tramp stamp movement doesn't come back. I mean, Panama City license plate. <laughs> I like I like I I can see the tribal tat or like something around the something around the bicep coming back, but like the tramp the tramp stamp was never. But, but there's hey a man, lot of people if, that hope the tramp stamp gets trendy yeah. again. Yeah, if it right. comes back, if it comes back, then low waisted jeans will come back with it. So yeah, yeah you'll be seeing so many blown out fucking lines right that <laughs> <laughs> like, haven't been seen in fucking twenty years. <laughs> It's all like you can't tell what it says anymore. Like, <laughs> I, I wonder what the most it, it's got to be. You would think like a like someone's name would be the most lasered off or covered up tattoo. I'm sure the tramp stamp's got to be like way, way up there and in tribal too, just random tribal. Oh, mess. Yeah, yeah, good lord. What you a time to get like just like a, a dot with a squiggle on it. It's tribal, <laughs> <laughs> tribal. Mm. Uh, it. Actually, Hopi Indian. Now that now this is a good question. Did anybody see Dan with his hat off <laughs> twice? Yep. Oh my Two god! Times. And I watched that, and you know what? I'm keeping it kayfabe. Yeah, you, know, you got to come to Nashville for that. That's like I, I heard. I heard he sleeps with that thing on. No, he has a nighttime version that's like silk. Oh, that he puts on. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Okay. <laughs> pretty awesome. Like pretty it's awesome. just like his his bed clothes look exactly like his normal clothes. They're just like the satin versions. Pretty much. Pretty much. Wow. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. So, um, my first tattoo looks like it was done in the back of an eighteen wheeler going down the highway. <laughs> A bunch of them out there. Yeah, I got one of those. Yeah, mine's all faded. And it's it's in bad shape. It's worn out. It's it's struggling. Just ju just hope nature will erase it for you. Please wash away. <laughs> yes, yes. Maybe the, it was it was like really bad ink. It'll just eventually like just just break up and dissolve into your body. You know. There you go. It happens. But um, so I've I've met. Uh, I've met Chris before. I've met Dan before. I've met Jonathan before. I've met Corey before. This is my first time meeting Swaggy. Was this um, anybody else's first time meeting at the at the convention? Swaggy, like our, yeah, yeah. Swaggy. Just swaggy. We're on all oh, the rest of us are on like yeah. our third year of meeting up. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, it was all my right. first time meeting. Man, I'm all telling you, I'm telling you right now, Full Moon is going to be a con. I think I'm going to go to every single year. Yeah, yeah it was. It was an amazing convention. That was the best con I've been to in a decade. Well, I, I I went to last year's full moon and I had a really good time there. And I, I definitely had this one marked on the calendar. Um, and this one was, like I said, in my video today, like this one was even better. Like, um, yeah, it, it, it's a great location. The hotel is really nice. The restaurant and bar inside is like all the meals I had there were fantastic. And um, just the venue is 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 really good, and there's it's lots nice. of places, lots of places yeah. nearby to eat, to go hang out. Cheap Uber mm -hmm. rides, you know, if you're mm -hmm. intoxicated, everything's kind of close. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to hit on this, like specifically, because I shit on cons a lot, and this one did everything right, like pretty much everything right. It took me back to like a pre 2010 when these cons were all in hotels; they weren't in in arenas or, or whatever the hell the convention center or whatever and yeah. it just had this really nice tight-knit vibe you were constantly like and they didn't have the biggest celebrities right but they had ones that i cared about and that you guys cared about and we got to interact with them over the course of you know three four days it was just they did everything correctly here including the open bar on saturday yeah. night 
I was going to say they went above and beyond a little bit exactly. on that last night, dude. That was crazy. So Saturday night, I've never, in all the conventions I've ever gone to in my life, I've never been to a convention where there was an open bar. You just walk in, whatever you want. They'll make it for you. You want a beer? They give it to you. They had uh, the cans, the full cans. The full food. cans. And I was going out. Look up. Yeah. Every time I went back, they would give me a shot and a beer for free 99 it was a club dude they had lights. it was the nun was was twerking in the corner (laughs) the nun was the coolest thing about the weekend she was breaking it down boy like have you ever seen her the nun bust a move to baby got back you have not because she's pretty much she's the nun little less scary yeah she just has that look she has talked to i talked to her about the weather in the elevator that was cool. <laughs> Lauren did that with Ken Kersinger. She proceeded to tell him all about the puke in the other elevator, like the whole ride down. And I'm like, that was Jason Voorhees. Where? I mean, that that, guy that was happening all weekend. It, part of your morning, floor. part yeah. of your morning was just seeing Tom Atkins like chilling, reading a yeah. book, or like looking out the window. Well, yeah. Eric was our neighbor, so a few times I would meet Eric with an ice bucket. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You know, you want to be like you taking the garbage out there, yeah. <laughs> you should have. You should have. I let him slide. He don't need that from me. You know, nah, he would have got a. He would have got a laugh out of it. But, um, uh, let's. This is, here's a good question here. Uh, who had the longest trip to Nashville? Uh, we are the. Me and Chris had the quickest. Jay probably. Jay. Yeah. yeah he was yeah. six yeah. and a half hours. I think. Oh yeah, he beat me. Six. Mine was five hours. Yeah, I want to say yeah, mine was, was mine was about four. Yeah, just under <coughs> five for us. Okay. okay. Yeah. It wasn't about too bad. It was worth half, it. two and a half for me. It's about two for us, man. Yeah. Uh it's it's been in Nashville the last three years, Cliff. It's a it's a good spot, man. It's a good old school con, man. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I'll go to Scarefest later this year because there's some people I want to meet, but the, the experience is not gonna be in any way the same. Like this, this, that's it, like the Hollywood version, and we were at the indie film version. Yeah, I I felt like I was back at Fangoria Weekend of Horrors, which was like my early yeah. convention experiences in the nineties. Uh, felt like, just, a, yeah, it it was just good vibes. The celebrities, no no bad stories about them. They were all cool. Like you said, I'd wake I'd wake up and go to Poolside, and Tom Atkins is just sitting there. With a bunch of babes in the pool, and he's just reading a book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know where else? Where else are you going to have that experience? At- I At- Atkins was everywhere. He was yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, I ran into him being an old man quite a bit. You know, just looking at the sky, <laughs> reading a book, <laughs> talking about the weather, <laughs> living his best life, dude. Yeah, lived his best life. You know. But Piz, oh, what I was hair, saying is, yeah. you did you go to the old Fright Night film festivals? Like oh yeah, back in the, mm-hmm. that's what this reminded me of is like those early ones. Yeah, I think that my first one was like uh, whatever year the John Carpenter was there. What was that like 2010, 2011, somewhere in that neighborhood? Yeah. That was my. Very oh, you first were late. One. You were late. I went yeah, early. I was, yeah. And then I went to a Fandom Fest when it became that. And, mm. So is Scarefest a bigger con than it's this? Just- Scarefest is mm. is a lot. Scarefest is a lot bigger. This one reminds me a little bit of Scarefest because I think it still has Scarefest still has that kind of um, I don't know. It, it, it kind of it's not it's not like a horror hound. It's not that big. It's but it's it's you know, it, it it's getting bigger like every year. They had to move. It's it's in this the, the Lexington Center still, but just in a different larger part of it. So yeah. they're definitely it's like every year they're getting bigger. Uh, but they're the, not in a the, hotel or anything swaggy like it's right. but the hotel there's there's a hotel like literally a, right across a sky a sky bridge from it so mm-hmm. it's uh there's plenty of accommodations and um scarefest is always just good i mean they're they're the way they organize things is solid um i always put them over because they really go above and beyond for people with special needs so that you know of course is big with me and um yeah i love scarefest nice yeah i i miss the just 
I don't know, just that social vibe that you don't get from like a Wizard World convention where it's very well run, but you're just waiting in line for autographs. You yeah, know, you I, I probably will never go to a horror hound or anything like that again. Like stuff like yeah. smaller cons like this, way more fun, dude. Yeah, yeah I mean, this I, is a uh, this is my like technically on that level anyway second convention it was scare fest in this one and i like this one it felt more like intimate mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and like just a whole event instead of just i'm gonna go there that was also and the first leave, time I'd, you know i'd never stayed in a host hotel before because i'm always trying to squeeze out a couple extra bucks that's something i'll never do again so. yeah, yeah when, when you when you stay in the host hotel you've always got some place to go you've always got some place to hang out you know, you're amongst you're... the people, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like every most people have that standard uniform, like horror t-shirt, jeans on. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> we've got the Godfather of the Purple Chongo in the green room. So let's bring him on. Jay the Stingray is here. How you doing, Stingray? <laughs> What's up, the fellas? Purplest of all Chongos. How you doing, man? <laughs> doing well. Doing well, man. I still got the. Post convention blues, but other than that, I'm doing. I too, well. man. Yeah, it, it take it takes a little while for the for that to to wear off, especially when you have a really good time. So, yeah, epic weekend, man. Epic it was epic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great time, great time. Yeah, ho hopefully next year, Ben, you'll be able to uh, you'll be there, be able to join in the festivities. Oh yeah, man, we had a good oh, time. Yeah. The personal hygiene was good. Like I, I don't. Remember. It wasn't stinky over there, dude. I would say that's one of the better looking groups of con people I've ever seen, too. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Personal that hygiene true. was good. I, I, I do not remember running into one stinky person. Not even like bad breath. So I mean, like people are, you know, they're up in their game. And, and <laughs> I love that. I love they had that. everything spread out decently for the horror side of things. Now the tattoo side, I think that was just like. They had that many people sign up, and that's just what it was. It was really hard to get around in there. But all the horror stuff they had set up real nice. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't even go into the tattoo section. I don't even know where that was. Yeah. So they had the entirety of the center filled, and then the outside wall. So you had like one lane going all the way around it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How would yeah. Now, Stingray? I know you. You've been to a lot of conventions over the years. How would you rate this one? <laughs> As far as just just overall vibe, the setup, the 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 organization, the whole nine yards. It was great, man. Like it's it's kind of a scaled down version of what I'm used to, really. And I mean, a lot of cons I've gone to have I think gotten a little too big to yeah. where it, it just changes the atmosphere and the you know the feeling of things. And I think mm -hmm. this nailed it, man. Like I mean, I talked to Tom Atkins like quite a few times throughout the weekend oh, yeah. and that was a lot of fun you know yeah we, we we were just talking about how like he was everywhere he'd be out front reading a book he'd be you know just sitting in front of the pool he'd be just you know he, he was everywhere <laughs> so, and he was yeah. cordial every time <laughs> oh he gave chris he a finger, finger point, gun a couple man. times yeah gave him he, a wink he, and the gun. finger point man that was like one of the best parts of the whole weekend <laughs> <laughs> uh Let's see. I uh, see, and, and and you bring up a really good point there, Stingray. I think some, and and we had mentioned Friday Night Film Fest. I think the what happened with Friday Night Film Fest is they just got too big for their britches. To coin a, a it's a, like a, the ride up was great. The, yeah, and so that's something like that kind of with Scarefest. I'm I'm kind of concerned that they may get to that point too, or may or hopefully they learned a lesson from Fright Night where. They just got way too big and they just sort of lost the plot and everything was just a complete free for all yeah. until and, it was just momentarily in an abandoned shopping mall. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I mean, to, to, to think where they were in, in, in Louisville at, at, you know, five star hotel with like insane guests to like connected to the golf house. Like it's exactly. And, and to abandoned shopping mall. That's that's because they screwed over the fans one too many times, and they made way too many excuses. Those were some of the first places I saw, but they were bringing in like Gene Simmons and Bill Shatner and stuff. Those were some of the first like cracking a hundred dollars on a on an <clears throat> autograph I was seeing, and that was shell shock to most for me. Of the, for me, it was the Walking Dead folks. They went overboard yeah. with the Walking Dead folks. 
Well, I've told y'all who ruined conventions. I won't do it here. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, the, the Walking Dead ruined conventions. Yeah, yeah. it did. It just did. I what, what do I mean, you mean? How did they ruin it? Like, as far as it's centered on them? They, or? they. Yeah. Well, I mean, a they raised the prices of everything across the board. Huge. B huge. B they brought in horror fans go to horror conventions. Walking Dead fans went to horror conventions. And it for destroyed. the walking dead people Ugh. and it and it just it, it every convention was just overstuffed every convention was just a madhouse and friday night film fest was a great example of that because they I'll just went you, overboard with i'll the, give you a good example walking dead people I'll give you a good example swaggy and this is no way because i'm not hating on these people okay the ice nine kills people that were at the convention this weekend extrapolate that by like 200 times and that's what the Walking Dead people were at like every con. It wasn't the same people. Like Wait. you had those people that just came for that Ice Nine Kills guy yeah. this weekend. Like yeah. they paid their There's money so many, just to meet that guy. So many yeah, of kids, them. man. And kids good for them. Ice I don't Nine get Kills it. head to toe merch. I don't get it because I'm not <laughs> 17, right? It's not for me to get, but that's what it was. But there'd be a whole room of these bastards. I remember I mean, this was right at the beginning of it, and Norman Reedus was there, and it, you know, it was like a rock show. And I remember somebody in line just like looking over at Michael Berryman's table. And it's like, do we know him? Like if you went to Fangoria Weekend of Horrors, every single human there knows who Michael Berryman is. Mm -hmm. It it just, yeah, it was very, it just changed it. How much were autographs when you guys started going to cons? 20 like 20 uh, bucks. Every uh, 20 bucks was 20 bucks was the. 20 bucks was the industry standard, and that got you the signature and the photo. No yeah. photo ops. We're not going to go stand by in no front of the JC Penney's backdrop. I don't think is this like 10 years ago or further yeah, back? somewhere. Yeah, somewhere, well, further. even even further back. It's, it, mm-hmm. At some of the original Fangoria conventions, you just had you just had to pay to get right. in, and everything was. Yeah, that's where we started from, and now the, we're at hundreds yeah. of dollars in some cases for like a Robert England or something. You go back to like even like 06, 07, maybe 08, uh, Weekend of Horrors, you paid a little bit more for the ticket, but you get free stuff. Like they do a panel, you'd go, they'd be signed. You know, I got like the last one I think was like David Arquette signed the Tripper poster for free. Uh, Arlie That's Irby another thing. You know, Texas. They're Chainsaw. charging for panels at some of these conventions now too. That that, that was, is, you just you just yeah. rolled into a panel, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's uh, that's no, 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 no. Buying a ticket for a no, panel, no. And, and and some panels are great because I mean that's mm-hmm. in a at some of the bigger conventions like that's where you go to rest. You just go in there and sit down and chill out. You know, I don't want to have to pay to do that. But but Nico, next year, next yeah. year, get over here, man. Get over here. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, last year it was in March and this year it was in March. So I'm, I'm guess I don't remember if it I was in March. They'll announce it soon. Yeah. So keep your, keep your eyes peeled there, Joe. You couldn't uh, ask for a better hotel. We had uh, a hotel took, was great. Well, we took great. over the lobby for that pizza party. <laughs> we did. Yeah. <laughs> had that big table. Yeah. I bet that's never been used as a table. That's what I'm saying, man. We're probably the first ones who ate on that table. Gave us plates. Yeah, who yeah. went and asked for plates and they gave us plates? Like, that was the yeah. one for me that was like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Just from the restaurant and we sat and had pizza in the lobby. Yeah. Oh, we got Garrett in the chat. What's up, Garrett? What up, Garrett? You, doing, man? you, need, you need to make the uh, journey yeah. up this way, man. Make the yeah. journey to, to God's country. Yeah, I got I, go. I, I I got to hang out with Garrett a few years ago at uh, uh, in North Carolina at the um, oh damn what was that one in North Carolina? <sighs> It'll come to me, but that was a that was a fun one. That was a fun one. <clears throat> and plus two for me, there was a lot of firsts, but I've never been to McKay's, and yeah. that was twenty minutes yeah, from where fun. we were at. That's and that, that was, a, was you that could was spend nice hours store. in there. Yeah. So, so there's, that was, um, McKay's is like Jeremy's Mecca. He loves that freaking <laughs> place. He yeah. can go in there and spend hours. Cause there's every, there's books, there's comics, there's movies, there's everything. He's just in there forever. And I mean, um, we were too. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't been, touch it all. Two hours. The, the <laughs> upstairs, I got up to the upstairs like five minutes before we left and looked around and it wrapped all the way around. I was like, shit. And that's all I didn't even see there, half right? the store. Well, mm-hmm. there's movies up there too because I found foreign films. Bit, yeah. And yeah, I found like, animation up there. Yeah. Too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. McKay's are awesome, man. They're awesome. Not a lot of we physical were... media stores with an elevator. Like it's yeah. huge. We were all kind of finding each other stuff and trading Jay, back and forth. I think Corey and Chris bought more stuff that I went, do y'all need this? <laughs> Probably. Put it in my cart. Come on. Jay, are you still talking to that I mean, guy's girlfriend? He let, he let borrow your phone? <laughs> yeah. What was his name? Did you something. get his name or did you just call him FaceTag? Randall. Randall's Randall. his name? Okay. You forgot the power cord. <laughs> That's such a Randall thing to do. Man. I, <laughs> I thought for sure when we came out, that guy was like holding you up or something. He was like, <laughs> Oh, this dude, he was me and Swaggy just went ahead and got in the car that last time. That's, I don't even know we're like, we're just gonna hang out up here. Rolled he, was, the windows and yeah. the no, he was buying a car on Facebook Marketplace and was meeting them there for some reason. Didn't have a phone for whatever reason, so he used my phone. And then, you know, the guy comes, he takes off in the car and then, you know, we're all getting ready to go. And, uh, he shows up again. He ran out of gas down the road. Oh, geez. <laughs> so now he knows me. I'm like his buddy. He told me all about lock up and everything. So we were leaving. We went down the road, got some gas. Here he walks up with a gas yeah. can. Jay's like, go take off. <laughs> Jeez. So yeah, yeah, Jay, you, you should have ventured away with us a little bit, Piz. We did do some, some. some it, stuff. it it sounds like y'all got into some uh, some craziness. Yeah, Jay, I, I heard you had some uh, some wild times. I'm, yeah. You guys drank too much, man. <laughs> all you guys, I, I, I can't hang with you, man. Now, I got I got tore up every night. That did happen. Yes. That, that that did. Mm-hmm. Well, here, here's here's me. here's a funny story. Thursday night, you we're all hanging around the table shooting yep. the bull. Here comes Eric Freeman. He comes and sits down, and he goes, <laughs> "Who's who's got the pot?" Oh no, he looks. He walks up to me because I didn't realize it was Eric because I've never met Eric in like real life, you know. And he walks up like beside me, and he's just staring at me. And I look over, and he goes, "You smell like weed." That's it. <laughs> I was like, "Thank you." Uh, <laughs> new cologne. I am the weed. Well, what it was, we found. I figured because I never smell like weed like that. To where like, because I wasn't the only one. That nobody would tell me when I was getting in the car that everybody's going, "Is that us? Is that me? Is it?" Like, no, I'm just, I'm just fucking radiating this shit. I'd put a half a joint in my pocket because I've been smoking it. I put it out and put it in my pocket. Well, if you put a joint out, like if you've ever. Yeah, not a good idea. It. It's well, no, I mean, it's fine. It's completely smokable. It's just it has an aroma. It has an yeah, aroma. But lighting your pants on fire. I mean, that's mm-hmm. a possibility, right? I mean, you I'm put it out, man. You, you don't guys, just put. Man. You just don't raw dog a joint. Well, I, your I took that as raw dogging the joint. <laughs> you don't. You, you never raw dog a joint. You never. No, raw never raw that's a big fan. But see, I was. I mean, yeah. See, my, my memory of it. My memory of it was he said like, "Who's who smells like pot?" And I was like, "Well, who do you think?" <laughs> because you, you were wearing like an like an eighties like jogging suit, you yeah. know what I mean? I was like, "Well, who do you think?" You know, I had the hair up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you, you I did look like a bit. drug dealer from New Jack City. You, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have had a beeper, oh, oh boy, you you definitely had the best wardrobe there because like they would think it was Saturday Thank night. You. you had like the hot pink shorts. Yep, and the yellow shirt and the Tiffany mm. blue shoes. Yeah, he's the biggest wardrobe too because every time we turned around, he was wearing something different. He had some Jordans <laughs> on one day. Yeah, he had a he had a briefcase full of shoes or a I had a whole full suitcase shoes. full of shoes. Yeah, that was like <laughs> two weeks worth of shoes. That confuses me. Well, if I, they got to go with the outfit, man. And I had to bring like my Freddy sneakers and stuff. Like, there's certain things you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. You, had, you, had, you got to take more. it to the next level. Yeah. You had more wardrobe changes than a 90s Madonna concert. That also helps Shoot. keep down the stank, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's true. You keep that's changing true. it up, you ain't gonna be stanking, man. That's true. I mean, it's smart. I didn't have I didn't have my baby powder, you know. It's very smart. Very smart. I I helped stop a theft. You James, did, Dan. Yes. James Tell us about it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was so, oh, so yeah, I was yeah. I was meeting James Reamer. 
really cool, cool dude. If you haven't met him, I do recommend it. Uh, so there's a guy ahead of me, no big lines during the weekend, but he must have been like the ultimate Mortal Kombat fan because he was just one of those dudes that had a bunch of stuff that he was getting signed, a Mortal Kombat poster that looked like it had everybody that was in the movie. Uh, so I, I'm waiting, you know, he's taking his time having a conversation. No big deal. Uh, so as, as he's leaving and I don't realize this, he rolls up, uh, James Reamer's reading glasses in his poster and takes it. No, not his Uh, reading glasses. Those are prescription. Yeah. Yeah. Very upset about it. (laughs) So like I'm helping Reamer, like look under the table and everything. And it's like, that dude might have your glasses i mean he was mad he's like damn it i can't see without my glasses like you could tell he was getting he he makes a beeline he comes back like with the glasses and uh you know i don't don't know who said it but somebody was like i think he did that on purpose and then reamer's like yeah i think he did too because i don't know how you roll up glasses you don't you don't yeah. roll up a set of glasses in your poster and not notice it, dude. He did it on your purpose. Poster, that's a poster one of the, that's signed by everybody the, in Mortal Kombat, and you just yeah. got signed. You're not thinking, oh, that's good. If there's something in there, it's gonna get creased up. Oh, Come on. he was We're just nervous. gonna put those glasses up on a shelf. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. a shadow box lit up. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure this was the Shao same Khan guy. Mask. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was the same guy who walked up to uh, Brian Thompson, who played. Shao Kahn in yeah, Mortal Kombat yeah. Annihilation, and uh, and 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 as soon as he he went Shao Kahn, <laughs> literally that was how that was how he greeted Brian Thompson <laughs> by yelling Shao Kahn at him. Wow. I'm sure this was had, the same guy. We need we should have hung out yeah. with that guy. <laughs> I had a moment with Brian Thompson outside the hotel. He was, I guess, before the con, he was going golfing. And yeah, got, he told he told me yeah. he did golfing. <laughs> yeah, he had like his clubs, and I'm like, man. Great shape. I think he's 70. Great mm-hmm. shape, but it's a little weird just seeing Brian Thompson like in golf gear. Well, you know uh, Nashville's but... famous for its golfing. Yeah, I guess so. I mean... yeah, he... And fentanyl. <laughs> where did you eat like, the first they night? come for the golfing and they stay for the fentanyl, fentanyl. <laughs> exactly yeah where did you go out to that first night piz we all went to dave and buster's to have a lackluster meal um i went to um it's called nadine's great little down home country cooking place there in nashville highly recommend it awesome awesome food okay. And then um, had drinks in the uh, the bar restaurant area, which is really nice place. Good food there. Good. Food. Yeah, very good food. Great, great um, meatloaf. Okay. Yeah. Mm, very good. Dave and Buster's was terrible, but the video games were fun. We should have just yeah. ate somewhere else. Then went and played went and there. Played video games. Yeah, we were talking about if we go again, we're gonna order a pizza and have it delivered there, like in the game area. <laughs> See if we can get away with that. <laughs> Probably, I don't think they would have even known the difference because just... mm. <laughs> they, they, they know their food sucks. They don't yeah. eat there themselves. <laughs> yeah, they were in the back opening up them hungry man dinners, buddy, and just fucking as fast as they could. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was um... let's let's go around the hole here. What was uh, Chris? What was your favorite uh, celebrity uh, encounter at the uh, at the convention? The convent, the convent. We were at a the convent. convent. The event, yeah. yes. <laughs> at the convent, the nun. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like honestly, I had a few. Man, it, it was like <laughs> that's one of the cool things. Is like I could easily say it was the nun because it was just the nun. Which I'm not a huge fan of those movies, but just the fact that I was talking to her about the weather on the way yeah. down to the lobby in the elevator, like it's just cool. The finger point from Tom Atkins. I mean, Whataburger for you, right? Because you had your cherry busted at Whataburger. Yeah. Your burger cherry, not like you lost your virginity. Yeah, Chris lost his virginity at Whataburger. It was a big weekend. (laughs) How did that? Was it it the waitress there? (laughs) Yeah, but say his wife will be excited to hear about this. (laughs) She'll be like, thank God that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, glad he got, got over he that. He finally oh. got it out of the way. Good for him. 
It's one less thing for me to have to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I'm like reach for I this game. <laughs> Jalapeno burger and your arms, your hands just touched. And it was hey man, bad. that fucking Dr. Pepper milkshake was fucking yeah. delicious. Yeah, they're the Sweet. spicy ketchup, dude. I brought like three or four packets home. I should have grabbed like a handful. That shit's good. It's good with fish sticks, by the way. Mm. Okay, fish well, sticks. they are expanding because Georgia is not a Whataburger state, and we just got one, so okay. there's hope. There is hope. They're huge uh, burgers too. They're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're whopper really sized. Good. Yeah, mm. good stuff. Right. We ate at Shoney's, which I'm happy to see they still exist because all of ours closed. That was good. Yeah, I, 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 gosh, I don't remember seeing a Shoney's in years. Delicious. So. We had it one up till last good. year, man, and I ate yeah, they, at it. They knocked it down and turned it into a car wash. Yep. Uh, Tennessee has the most Shoney's in the U.S. I, I looked don't that doubt up that. while we were there. I don't wow. know that. There's like 30 of them still left in Tennessee. Dude, Tennessee's keeping Shoney's alive. <laughs> Chris, do you have Shonloke? Yeah, he's right there, man. Shonloke. Oh, you got to mm-hmm. get Shonloke and show him to the people. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Mm, all right. Well, Dan, what was, what was your favorite celebrity encounter at the convention? Uh, I got to talk to a lot of people. Uh, the, the cool thing about this is you actually got to have real conversations, not just at their tables, just yeah. out and about. Uh, man, I don't know. The nun, I wish I, I was in the moment. There you go. <laughs> the Shawnee's bear, baby. Uh, I had to buy one, dude. I mean, it, it kind of has to be the nun. When I say like, it, it's weird. She was good. Like she could dance. She was getting down. Like it was like she was in a. This was a little bit Broadway. before you got there. Okay. Yeah. She was just busting it open. She was out dancing Felissa Rose. Like wow. she she had the moves, man. I think you guys tore up that open bar, bar man. <laughs> I didn't know you what was going on. Me and Chris down. were joking that there was a party going on in the lobby. Yeah. I didn't think there's actually a party going on in the lobby. We migrate over, and yeah, the just. The Nun, Felissa Rose, uh, Dave Sheridan was there. I hung out with Ken Kersinger for a while in line waiting yeah. for a drink. He's not as yeah. tall as I thought he was. He's a big dude, John. He's <laughs> big. <laughs> I bet Piz and Corey are bigger, though. Uh, I didn't see him, but I, I did pass by him. I'm a little bit taller, yeah. See, yeah. in my head, that dude's like 6'8". Yeah, yeah. Something, yeah. Was a, something was afoot. I think yeah, Tyler Maine is short, man. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Tyler Maine is, Tyler Maine is really... Tall. Yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's ginormous. He's a legit yeah. six eight though. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So just well, there you go, Ken Kersinger. You're short and you're being called out. So he was so nice. I I was in the. I ended up in the he elevator cool. with him a lot. He he was cool. I got that old school Freddy versus Jason figure box set signed by him and a few things. He he was a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Swaggy, what was your favorite celebrity encounter? <clears throat> uh, I would probably have to go with Barbara Crampton. Yeah. It okay. it definitely ended up being the most I've ever spent for an autograph. Tell 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 the people what you got Do signed. We, here, Swag. So so can can we can we go in depth here about? I I, I don't I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of, Swaggy. No. <laughs> mm. Okay. So this is the y'all heard this story, but for the most part. Full disclosure, I I already had her autograph. So Mm. all I really wanted was a picture with her. And uh, I brought, just in case, uh, she did a spread in Playboy in 86. She's not on the cover, but she's in the magazine. Mm -hmm. So I come up Friday. She's there. I don't bring it because I don't know the etiquette or the protocol if you're bringing something like that. Uh, I talked to y'all about it and you're like, man, she'll be fine with it. You know, like I don't see all of y'all said there'd be no problem with it. So I looked at her prices and for 40 bucks, you get the signature for 60, you get the signature and the picture. And then if you just wanted a picture, it was $40 alone. So it's like, well, why not get the picture? and the signature yeah all right so 
I go up there, I get the Playboy, I bring it back down, I'm being discreet, it's in a bag, you know, I, I guess there's kids around, I don't really remember seeing kids, but a little bit nervous, uh, you don't know how someone's going to respond to that, that was a long time ago, obviously, and uh, so I pay the lady, and I'll go, I oh, know, I brought a magazine for it, she was like, oh, okay, that's fine, so then you move to the next person, and the guy was real nice about it uh he was almost dressed like a pit boss black suit black that, shirt that that's that was that's her manager okay yeah. okay gotcha gotcha so i'm holding the magazine down because i'm flipping through the page to get her to sign it and i'm not even going to put it on a nude picture for her to i don't want to make it to be awkward i don't want to come off as a total <laughs> creep uh so like his is behind me slasher home videos behind me i remember and uh so he sees the the playboy and he goes oh wait that's that's one of those items that we charge more for it'll be a hundred dollars so she's like five feet from me and it at first i didn't i kind of thought he was joking I wasn't real sure because he said it straight, but I was like, oh, he's just, you know, and he goes, nah, it's just a, it's like a specialty item and we just charge more. Mm -hmm. So thankfully I'd gone to the ATM because I actually had more cash with me. So I'm just like, shit, I'm committed now. I'm not mm -hmm. backing out of this. Yeah. Uh, so I fork over 40 more bucks and I hand it to her. And uh, she goes, hold, hold on one second. And she took it and showed it to somebody else. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so let me, okay, let, let me elaborate here. <laughs> let me elaborate here a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to poke a little fun at you, Swaggy, but it's all in good. It's all in good, good humor. <laughs> you, you, you were nervous. You were nervous about having her. And, and I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, so when you first pulled it out of the thing and you were, you were like thumbing through it, like trying to hide it and thumb through it, like it, it reminded me of like a kid at the, in front of like the, the, the newsstand, you know, like the, and you were doing the right, cause there were kids around. So, but you were doing the right thing, but it was so funny. Cause like, as soon as you handed it to her, she went, Oh, and she ran over to Jonathan Sheck and started show, or started flipping through it to show him. And he's just going like, Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you were you were like you were like concerned that she would she wouldn't like it or she wouldn't right yeah, i thought she, she might she, get offended or something I, yeah i was like no man she, she'll, she'll probably be like hey i look great you know it's, oh, but she yeah she ran right to jonathan check and was like she, she well, that's now. nothing he hasn't already seen before <laughs> <laughs> but she as soon as he met up. her he googled that so he already knew <laughs> but you can't you gotta act you know like oh i've never seen these and she oh. brought it back and she opened it up to the to where you see below the equator you see below below above <laughs> everything and she said is it fine for me to sign right here and i was just like uh-huh <laughs> for a hundred dollars <laughs> swaggy she should have recreated that picture in her hotel room. <laughs> i mean yeah. i probably said nothing coherent to her at all it was probably just mumble for that what? price, she, she should have signed every page. <laughs> every page. And what yeah. was the uh what was this inscription that she put on there? To John Barbara Crampton. <laughs> 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 Worth every penny. Worth every penny. At, at, at least none of the pages were stuck together. At least none of the pages go. were stuck together. Well, I'm assuming that's a used magazine. I don't that would have been that would have been 86. Yeah, I was you uh, never know. You never know. That's We've a got, prized possession of mine now, though. Well, yeah, you got you got an investment in that now. Yeah, uh, we have got Jake here with us, Slaughter Report. How you doing, sir? What up? How you guys doing? Uh, doing good, man. Doing good. How you doing? Are you are you are you hung over from the uh, the convention? Yeah, got the convention blues. Got the convention. I was blues. hung over that next day after that Saturday. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, uh, three blues, and you told, you, you're expecting us not to drink it, like all of it. I'm sure you. I'm sure you weren't the only one. Uh, I'm disappointed in you guys, man. <laughs> I know. See, Jay was the one always there, like you know, quoting scripture at us, and like you know, yeah. 
Guys, we got Bible study in the morning. Come on. I mean, it, it was it was Easter early. Sunday the next day. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, guess what? I rose that day too, so it all worked out. <laughs> Barely, but you. <laughs> Dan was gone before I could get up because I did that thing where like I got so drunk Saturday night that I woke up didn't know where the fuck I was Sunday. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, I had to like think why am I in a hotel room and why is Chris here? <laughs> 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 oh. Every morning it was somebody's not going to make it because they're they're too hungover, or you know, it yeah. was like we're going to meet at nine o'clock, and then three people out of the six would show up. You know, <laughs> hey, we all eventually file in. We did eventually. Well, we well last Saturday night it was Jonathan and Jay was like nine o'clock. We're going to go have breakfast. <laughs> hey, Jake, me and you went. Yeah, we did. We I don't did. Know where everyone else was? I didn't hear from anybody. I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Jay ended up with some hot dogs from the Loves. I think he got the worst end of the deal. Uh, Ooh. Oh, Jay, what were you thinking? Lord have mercy. Back to the beans, man. Fun time's over. Yeah. You know what we haven't <laughs> yeah. talked about? Those chairs. We were all oh, like yeah. two years, like five year olds in those chairs just spinning. Oh, yeah. In the lobby. The, yeah. Did you try chairs. them out, Piz? No, 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 no. I, I know. You couldn't tip over I, in them, man. They were pretty cool. You, yeah, you couldn't. It was weird, too. It was fun. It was like, I didn't think they were chairs when I got there. I was like, those are decoration. <clears throat> yeah, we thought they were yeah. tops, like some kind of art installation or something. <laughs> Which, by the way, you can do whatever you want to in that hotel lobby, and those people at the desk are going to mind <laughs> their own <laughs> fucking business. That's they what they're going to do. Yeah, they've seen they it all before. Care. They've seen it all before. <laughs> they were just unattended children all hours of the night playing on those things and just like yeah. diving over the top of where you're sitting. Well, look, I mean, they, I mean, I mean, they see people who, who, you know, look like us. They're like, they're not going to mess with us as long as we don't murder anybody. Even if we murdered somebody, they'd just be like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, well, don't say anything. That's not good. <laughs> Get them a broom. We're, we're a worse crowd or all the pilots that came in are the worst. There, yeah, there, there were a lot of, there were. They're definitely of, way more yeah. fucking degenerate than we are. And there was that uh, suit and tie dude who came out and like bitched at his employees and took our fucking promotional stickers and stuff. Yeah, mm. threw them in the trash in front of you, which I thought was like kind of like, oh well. Like it's okay. He came, he, he came down on his phone and started looking around. He told us we couldn't smoke where we'd been smoking like the whole weekend and then he got on his phone. I need somebody out here with a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> what was what was that worse or was it worse when I came up to the table and I sh threw off all the retro crypt stickers? <laughs> I mean, that that one hurt. <laughs> inside so that was worse yeah uh but uh so um swaggy this was my first time meeting you and it, it was great to uh it was great to meet you and uh you definitely seemed like you had a good time at the show so i mean that's that's great this, this oh, was absolutely. only like was this only like your second convention yeah i'm an i, I I, I'm afraid to say this, but yeah, I, I'm a new person to this. So I'm learning, I've learned a lot about you need to bring your own items. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you need to prepare because that way you look at who's coming, you maybe like order something or, you know, you, you, you get ready like that instead of just going with the eight by 10 that they have there. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it was my first time meeting all of y'all uh, that obviously uh, Piz, I saw you, uh, sat with you at the, the screening for Sedley, uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. That was yeah. my first Q&A uh, mm. of a movie like that. So going to McKay's, uh, you know, meeting Flesh Wound Dan, Slasher, Mr. Bombastic, all of y'all. It was I, it was fantastic, man. Mm. You got in on some of that Whataburger goodness, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I did. That was my first go with that as well, yeah. He's the so, cameraman for some of my footage too. I man. can't wait for that one because there's some strange footage I think you have <laughs> on that final <laughs> evening. I dude, I didn't get much of that. I was oh, drunk. Man. I don't drink hardly, <laughs> and I drank a lot. <laughs> I, I I find that hard to believe, Dream Emulator. You've never been to a convention before. I guess there's just not a lot going on up there in, in your neck of the woods, right? That's why you just gotta get some conventions. Get <laughs> yeah. so you can show dream needs to come down here for one of ours too one of our you meetups do. Yeah. you do you do yeah you do definitely full moon yeah. would be a fantastic one yeah yeah full moon yeah. next year would be a good one 
or even you know even scarefest this year would be a good one this was a very horror crowd like it's weird actually being recognized a few times no idea who anybody was but they're aware of our podcast at least it was it was it was just really neat i i really had fun dan that was just me but you know, I was over there. I wasn't trying to be a fan. No, well, shit, you gotta yeah, hurt you my feelings me. now. <laughs> Back here. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, mark your calendar, man. They'll probably announce it before too long. It'll it'll probably be March next year. So mark your calendar. Yeah, more sure. of us there. Somebody will have to get an executive suite again, like old Jakey. Oh yeah, yeah. He had the hookup. You can play fucking baseball in that thing, dude. It was huge. Like, yeah, I was two porches, man. Thing. And a who, Murphy bed? I mean, it's been a Murphy bed this century. Who knew Jake was such a high roller? Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he rolls up in there and they 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 give him that suite. He he, he just rocks up in there and they're like, "Oh, executive suite for you, sir." And we were drinking purple chongos in the executive suite. That's the most like rapper thing I've ever done. You know what I'm saying? We even had our own porch. Yeah, I know. It, the, porch, it, 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 the weather was great, by the way, too. We haven't mentioned that. The weather was awesome. We held that porch down two nights in has, a row. Why hasn't anybody mentioned the stripper y'all got? Well, I don't think that dude was cool with his name being out there. So <laughs> <laughs> it's the same guy that did uh that was at the end of Sleepaway Camp that doubled for Felissa Rose. We got oh, that yeah. guy. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you'll link to... and you'll miss it. It's fine though, because you pay by the inch. So it was really no. cheap. Oh, <laughs> he still hasn't trimmed the forest yet either. <laughs> y'all were throwing the throwing the money around, you know. Yeah, he twerks also. <laughs> yeah, good twerker. <laughs> wow. Solid wow. twerker. I'd give him a B plus on the twerking. So, so it was it was worth the money then. That's good. Oh yeah, it was worth the eighteen fifty. Good. Hey, <laughs> he's no uh, I, gave him, I, I gave him. I, I gave him a good tip. There you go, there you go. Corey. What was your uh, favorite uh, celebrity encounter? At the show? Well, to be uh, to get a little sentimental, I di- I didn't step foot in the convention at all. You know, I came down because mm. these guys have been like family since 2020 when we were all going through all the crap we went through and i came down to hang with the guys and um you know i know some people know we've had a couple we've lost a couple people here in the youtube community recently so anytime we can get together and hang out is always a welcome thing so Mm -hmm. rest in peace lawrence and dave yes 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 but I, I will say my favorite celebrity meeting is always Dan, and he did sign my uh, copy of Rub and Tug on B. Jameson. So. There you go. That's wow. classic. Me and Robert Kraft, man. We were yeah. a good buddy team in that. Yeah. What was – what? so uh, what was – who had – I don't – Jake, you had the, the Crow, the crow uh, Wicked Salvation. Prayer poster by oh, side. Yeah. And yep. somebody had somebody had another weird post. Playmate right? of the Apes is what Dan had. Playmate of the Apes, yeah. And I had I, versus Predator. I, I don't want to make the chat jealous, but I think I'm the only person who has a Playmate of the Apes poster signed by Piz. Like, I don't think any of you in the chat have that. Wow. That's a one of a kind That's collection. A one of a kind. kind. It truly is. Oh. Truly is. Yes. <laughs> but you, I mean, you, you make a good point, uh, uh, Corey. It, it was, I mean, you know that the the whole convention part of it is one thing, but I mean, just getting to hang out with you guys and shoot the bull and you know have a few drinks and you know that that to me was was the best part. Oh, so. for sure, the best parts of the con didn't happen in the con. <clears throat> they were in the executive suite of the lobby. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. We did something fun in the Elantra. I don't know if I can talk about that here, but it was really let's not let's not go there. Yeah. Let's not go there. I had a purple chongo in there. I know that. In the Elantra, yeah. That there that a lot, lot of chongos, yeah. That Elantra is the th- the stories that could same. tell. The Elantra <laughs> is broken. It's yes. the stories that could tell. You thought your shirt smelled bad. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it was cool. It was all about the it was all about the the community aspect and, and hanging out with you guys. And I ran into a bunch of people who knew me from the channel and just you know getting to meet them and saying hey and uh, that's that's really cool. 
Uh, Jonathan, what were some of your favorite uh, celeb moments or encounters or what have you? Um, definitely elevator interactions because I had the exact same conversation with like almost every celebrity there in like the far right elevator. If you got in the far right elevator, it smelled like puke. So that was the conversation you were going to have on the way down. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was the it was guy. deemed the puke elevator by everybody. That's I ran into so many people. One that opened up too, like that was the fastest <laughs> elevator in the fleet. They did. They did clean it though. They did clean it. I never <laughs> noticed. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> by the way, it got way way worse like, as okay. the weekend progressed. Oh, was it? Was it one of you all that puked in it? Just it come was clean. Not. It was puked clean. up when we got there. Yeah. On Thursday, oh, wow. wow! Yeah, I, that smell just lingers forever. Oh, dude, was it that guy that was freaking out in the bathroom? I don't know who it was, but there was some random uh, guy. He, that he was, was it, 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 he was on a, like an hallucinogen of some sort. He was, yeah, he was that, that was. Well, there was also the there was also that dude who like threw a fit outside and like stomped. <laughs> yeah, Elton John and Cowboy Boots. It got it got uh, crazy. It what? got crazy Saturday <laughs> night, dude. <laughs> He was well, actually a nice dude. I also rode the elevator with him a few times. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I remember that. Tales from the elevator. Yes. The elevator yes, was yes. that was the, the happening spot. It was. Nico Nico wants to know what a chongo is. You want to hit him with that, Jay? Yeah, show him show your picture. In the back, <laughs> That's a chongo, chongo right there, brother. <laughs> What's in Bombay it though, Jay? Gin. That's uh Bombay gin, uh, Minute Maid, uh, orange juice, ocean spray, uh, cran grape, and ice. Yeah, Man. they're good. I'm not Delicious. a drinker, but they were good. Everything was so. a chongo. You had your green I, chongos, you had amber <laughs> chongos, diet chongos, brown chongos. <laughs> hey, I can go to Corey for now. making that happen. Not a problem. Corey got to I watch me to stumble those. across a few different locations too. We saw <laughs> lots of uh, beautiful Nashville, by the way, which is absolutely mm -hmm. awful. That place has really <laughs> gotten terrible, man. <laughs> well, I, told him, I told him about your uh, interaction with the guy at the liquor store. I don't know what what's going on there, but I think that guy had a set at Zanies he was trying to flush out or something, <laughs> man. I don't know what was going on. That's something else, man. I wanted to see Dan Soda, but. There's yeah. no way we're gonna fucking carve out time to do that. Just didn't no. have time, yeah. So what was what, what he was trying to run some kind of con on you or what? No, he was just running like a stand-up routine or so. I don't know what he was doing. I was a little chongoed out myself. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't in the mood for it at all. And he was just. <laughs> I had to check with Corey to make sure I wasn't just losing my mind. This guy was, like, this guy was weird, right? <laughs> so whole orbit's gonna be going to full moon Shout next year. That's out. cool. Mark your calendars. Hope to see you all there. Will any of you be visiting Days of the Dead Indianapolis? No. I don't I don't have any plans far, for Days of the Dead so. Indianapolis at this point. <laughs> we, we have that in Atlanta, Atlanta too. So you never Yeah, know. I went yeah, I went to Days of the Dead Atlanta earlier this year. Yeah. There was a, a dude selling autographs for a really good fucking price. Oh, Dan spent like five hundred dollars on that guy. Yeah, Dan well, pulled all of his Dan, inventory. Dan got some good yeah. stuff. Like Saturday, I, I'm walking around with Dan. We were maybe ten minutes, and he's already spent five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't keep up with Dan, dude. Good, <laughs> good deals, good deals. They were. Dan's a convention deals. machine, dude. He is. Good. You Dan you get up in the hard. morning to uh <laughs> go smoke your morning cigarette or get coffee or something and dan is sitting there in the lobby waiting for everybody and stuff <laughs> it was awesome so no haul video ben i didn't get a bunch of stuff i got I mean, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a haul video yeah i, I posted oh, yeah. i posted my haul video and stuff earlier today just right i did get ghoulish that's, tales that's I it, yeah yeah go. i got that too <laughs> i should have got it signed by the Executive producer we should have, mm -hmm. yeah. Should have. My mind. The star, it, writer. Yeah. I put it in the. Um... Oh, that Thursday yeah. night we went back to Jay's room and went through a bunch of VHS that he ordered that were just like people had recorded whatever on them, and we went through a bunch of those. That was fun. Yeah. By yeah, the way, random stuff. 
Uh, my Phoenix, wife right? wants to watch Ghoulish Tales, by the way, before we get I'll off get, topic. I don't so think she knows I'll, what she's in for, <laughs> but I'll, I'll watch I'll it just, with her. I'll give you, so I know Sam and her husband, Shibi Jeebie, Sam and her husband, watched it, and the review I got back was every single girl had their nipples pierced. That was basically their <laughs> review, so maybe don't watch it. With it's exactly life. what you're thinking ah, of from care. the mind of Dan Shine. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone go out and buy. It's exactly. It's if you know Dan, put a narrative around that. Hey, based on the first five minutes, I'm gonna like it. So. Pretty good so far. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the scene of the Santa in the bed. Yeah, yeah. there was there was like a line in there that made. Me oh laugh yeah, that's out right, loud. Swaggy. You weren't there that first night. We watched like I don't know. But usually everybody's like... favorite line before I get decapitated, spoiler alert, I'm in it a lot, is this ain't one of them Menage Todgers, boy. And then he just like cuts my head off. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to hear about if you asked if she was like front like did she raise chickens? Uh, or oh, like, were you oh, born yeah. on a chicken farm? Because you know how to raise my yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's another. Yeah. That I'm gonna, laugh out loud. Is, is is this film available to stream anywhere? Oh, I doubt it. Uh, I think. I mean, Tubi. I mean, it's on Tubi scenario, probably. Right? I could probably rip it. Please box. Like send it to you yeah. on a drive, Piz. To be perfectly honest, I don't think anybody owns this movie. The director was kind of an idiot to be honest. incoming it would be a good one for visual vengeance I it's actually not, do think it's it'd not be good technically good i mean i'm not trying to build it up hey like if visual cheap. vengeance puts out a blu-ray i'm buying it of course oh, yeah. <laughs> well we'll get, given, it to we'll get it to review due to being important it's at <laughs> least it, it's at least on par with la age jabber i'll put it oh out. man if, LA that age jabber, that's a tough bar to hit bro like, you want to yeah. go with that one you don't want to go with like and colony <laughs> like and colony might be a little more a list than my stuff it ain't i i don't know how it's gonna pass up necrophiles man oh nico um, better than kill her goats that movie sucks yeah kill her i don't know why anybody Parker. likes killer goats i'm I sorry don't get it either Not sorry good. Not good. Well, Piz, what was uh, some of your favorites? Um, uh, let's see. Well, I mean, uh, Tom Atkins. We, we, we've mentioned Tom Atkins was everywhere. He he had walked by the gym one morning while I was in there, and he looked in, and we made eye contact. And then when I met him later that day, he was like, "You were in the gym." So getting props from Tom Atkins for being in the gym in the morning was, was, was a highlight for sure. Um, There's actually something I wanted to ask you about that, Piz. Oh, sure. Looked, go ahead. I've never done this, but it looked like you got like three things signed by Atkins. Do you get like oh, a yeah. package deal for doing something like that? Oh, or is no. it three rounds of 40? It's just three. Well, um, yeah, three rounds. It was, it was three rounds of 40. He's yeah. almost, he's almost 90. Like he's one of those ones. If you get a chance. Oh, I get it. Him, yeah, I just Maybe. didn't know if like they did because I've I've seen people do that take multiple things to somebody to sign. I didn't know if they got a deal or you can you can try to barter. Sometimes you can get a, a little bit of a deal. I got I got a deal from um from somebody. I don't remember. I, I know I got a deal for multiple things, but from him and I didn't even ask because I mean it's the Atkins and yeah yeah. So I mean he even had the mustache uh, on this weekend. He had he had the mustache on. Yeah yeah. It was oh. glorious. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, hanging out with Eric is always a plus. He's awesome. Um, and let me tell you, we we worked out together Friday morning, and that dude is phew, goodness. Always gracious. in the gym. Yeah, yeah. My God, my God. Is this like seven a.m. in the morning? Uh, there, it was. It was like eight thirty somewhere in that hmm. neighborhood. But yeah, I mean, like he was, he was, he's no joke. No joke. I mean, did obviously, that, look at him. Did you get that breakfast buffet after? No, no, no. Did you try that at all while you were there? It was good stuff. Not, no, I don't know. I, 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 Ooh, I'm going to say next year, it's the same man. spot. Mm. You got to hit it. Yeah. That sausage, man. The that, sausage that, that was, was a good sausage. Yeah. Mm, mm. Omelet station. But getting to meet, uh, yeah, there's the first time I'd met Barbara Crampton, so that was cool. I'd never met her before. Um, it was it was funny because I met her 
the night before when I was having dinner with Eric and uh, Robert and their uh, manager. So she recognized me that next day and she was like, what do you do? So she, she, I, I was like, I was like, well, I'm, 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 a, I'm a producer and um, working on a new movie. If you're interested No, of course, don't. Which was oh, yeah. but she, she, she looked at me funny. She was like, what do you do? <laughs> Why are you? Yeah. So uh, uh, is there a uh, is there a Barbara Crampton bloodstream happening? Maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe I, I did I did I was, I was I was like oh, I'm just I'm just a YouTuber and I know these guys. I was like, but here here's my channel. She was like, oh, she she took the card. She looked at it, she went, oh, and she just dropped it on her table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure it immediately got off into the garbage after I left. But um, here you throw this away. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, she probably she, she probably handed it to Swaggy and was like, here, throw this away for me. Are you, you, God, use, this, use this use Thank this you. as a bookmark in your in your in your magazine she charged you 20 dollars to throw it away <laughs> <laughs> that would be in my wallet forever if she handed that to me man we were we talked about it a little bit but i was like kind of sad about ken forey i didn't really see anybody go up and I, I, maybe a couple you know what's it, funny that they had him come, like in a corner and i i think it was just a bad spot for him because yeah I think I think it was just he just had a bad spot. I mean, he does a lot of conventions. Well, yeah, he's been doing it forever too. Fun guy to meet. I've met him probably. 50 oh, he's super times. nice. I, I yeah. really like him. He was like the my very first convention. He was like the second or third person I, I went up to meet. Mm. So yeah. very personable. Yeah. yeah. Very let, nice let me ask y'all whenever y'all are waiting in line, are you running through your head what you're going to say to this person? Yeah, I usually don't say anything. I'm like, talk as little as possible. Just not say anything <laughs> stupid, and we can get this interaction over with. Bring. I always I, say, bring up. Don't bring up the obvious movie. Like yeah. I talked to Eric Freeman about that Hallmark movie he did. You know, yeah, there's nothing I'm going to ask him about Silent Night, Deadly Night too. <laughs> that hasn't yeah. been asked. So the, the the one he the one he did with Robert. Yes, yes, yeah. with David Dakota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's the yeah. other side to that. I don't think about what I'm going to say to him, and I probably should because I always walk off like, "Man, I should have said this." <laughs> asked about that. This is your one opportunity. You get like a two minute window with him. Yeah, like well, I talked to Barbara Crampton, and uh, her movie was like one of my favorite ones of last year. I didn't even mention it, dude. Yeah, like missed opportunity. That that feeling goes away, Swaggy. Like the more you do this, like I don't really get. I don't I'm not nervous around these people at all anymore. I, I'm but still they, a little in awe of yeah. being around. It's, it's weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I told Chris, like it's not that I'm starstruck. Like here's what I'm terrified of. If I'm paying to meet this person, obviously I have a ton of respect for them and like what they do and their crap. And if I have any kind of like negative interaction with them, you know, whether it be they're having a bad day, whatever, yeah. know that's going to destroy something I love, like that movie yeah. that I like, something that's going to hurt it. So I'm always nervous to meet people that not yeah. that I idolize, but I have respect for it because I, that will kill it immediately because it's happening. Yeah. 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 Mm. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody seemed to be having a bad time at this one. No, everyone was no. super nice. Yeah. yeah, everybody was in. Nobody yeah. was even cranky. You know what I mean? You. <clears throat> Except when Remar got his glasses stolen. But right yeah. so, right <laughs> place, so. He was yeah. nothing but cordial with me and, and very polite. He's spry, man. Like he just no. rolled through he, like to get that. He guy. called me handsome. I almost forgot about that. He called me a <laughs> handsome dude. Hey. I know, hey. right? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Put that I'd put that on my resume. I'd be like, yeah. look, I got a reference. Raiden here. said I'm handsome. <laughs> Just tell the that, wife, Chris, be like, I got options. I got a whole <laughs> I can go to Remar's anytime. <laughs> anytime. Exactly, I gotta yeah. take this. <laughs> you can piss me off. I'm out the door to Remar's place. Yeah, yeah. One phone call. I, One phone call. Exactly. I'm sorry, I'm I better have those pancakes and bacon on the table every I'm morning. Sorry, sweetheart. Or but how I'm many gone. times did you play Lord Raiden? <laughs> <laughs> were, 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 were you, you a you warrior? <laughs> he did a Van Damme movie. What, how many Van Damme movies did you do? Wh which Van Damme movie was he in? The Quest. He was the boxer. 
Oh, oh I forgot about that. God, it's been so long since I've seen the quest. Yeah, good movie, actually. I, kinda... more. I was surprised he wasn't. Yeah. I didn't see a ton of tell- me and Dan both got tell- <clears throat> the dark side posters signed, but I think that may have been the yeah. only ones I saw that weekend. Yeah, there were uh, a lot of Warriors stuff with him. Yeah, a lot but, of Warrior stuff and more combat. Mean, yeah. He's mm-hmm. he's had a great career, Dexter. Yeah. Lover's Vow is the shit, dude. It's the best segment mm-hmm. in that movie. Got Christian we missed you, chat. Christian. Jay was yeah. looking spelt, buddy. Oh yeah, yeah. working yeah. on it, man. Working yeah. on it. Yeah, Jay was looking great. I I asked Jay like, "What's what are you doing?" And he was like, "Oh, intermittent fasting." And I said, "Well, what's your what's your schedule? Like sixteen eight? And he goes, "Uh, my longest was three days." <laughs> yeah, I was gonna eat oh. for a really long time. It works. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I'd be dead halfway through the second day. Just be dead. But do you um, drink black coffee? I do. I mean, is that anyway. like the one thing you can do when you're not? I normally just do water, like if I'm doing a mm. fast. Have, have you have you done have you have you done multiple like three day fast before or is three just oh, yeah. the longest? Oh, okay. oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. two two and three. Okay. The discipline for that man is impressive. Yeah, that's remarkable. That, that would take a lot. Yeah, that's very impressive. I don't know if I'm doing a three hour fast. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll start doing a little, little, little peaking, you know. When you fast, like your eventually your body goes into fight or flight, so like it, it makes you very laser focused. Like you can, if there's anything you've been putting off doing, cleaning or doing whatever, yeah. like you're on it, you know. So. But yeah, three days. Oof. It's kind of easy to not have to worry about, you know, <clears throat> getting food and eating. Like, what am I going to eat? You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, they say those like nice billionaires and shit. Like, all you just the gotta... really successful people like don't think about what they eat, what they wear. Like they have all that like done for them. You just got to stay really well hydrated, you know, keep your electrolytes and stuff up. So, sure. but Jay, Jay clearly knows that. Chongo's. What? Got all the electrolytes. The chongo. We, the chongo. <laughs> we, we weren't doing low calorie chongos either. Oh, those are, those those are full blooded chongos. Full fat chongos, chongos. and nothing else. <laughs> just chongos all day. Devil's food right. chongos. Just this. <laughs> so, what was your consensus on the chongo, Biz? I don't think I remember I, what you said. I, I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. Yes. It was a lovely drink. Lovely. It's going to be the, that's the go to drink now. Mm-hmm. Yes, I honestly like. I really liked it. Like, and I don't. I'm not a gin guy. I've never liked gin, but it works. Yeah, it and it could just be gin and juice. That could be yeah. a conspiracy. Oh, it is I mean, gin. it is technically. Yeah, it's gin. Yeah. That's what Snoop, that's what Snoop Dogg was singing about. It's a variation on oh, gin and juice. Yeah. Snoop Snoop knew what he was talking about back then. That's for sure. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. God bless him. Chongos, mandatory chongos for everyone next year. <laughs> yes, yes. Everybody in the chat, you come, you got to drink a chongo. We're just going to like take one of the bathtubs in one of the rooms and fill it fill with it. ice. Yeah. <laughs> just make one big chongo. <laughs> oh, good. by the I'm way, for anybody <laughs> wondering. Red Solo Cup. <laughs> for anyone wondering, I did not get Dan to try broccoli. What? I tried. To getting oh, broccoli all oh, weekend. Oh. I'm straight he, edge. He I wanted no broccoli, it. much like CM Punk. He is straight edge. I get he had X's on his lot. hands all weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Tried to choke a few people and, you know, just doing CM Punk things. Well, she was he choked those kids hanging around the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he walked into a room, Cult of Personality came on. It was <laughs> It's a but trigger see, see, when I walk out the room. But see, Dan is Dan is there for business too. He, he's 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 got to keep a balance of business and pleasure. Yeah, he's exactly. he needs business, man. Yeah. It, we, you know what we should do is a meetup, guys. ABNs. I haven't been in a decade now. Yeah, that's gonna and go over great for me. That's that how hard it's playing with wife. the wife, man. <laughs> say, my wife was with me in Nashville. What yeah. do you think, Dan? <laughs> you gonna tell her? <laughs> Just we're just it. we're just going there because we 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 respect their work. The craft, yeah, <laughs> yeah the craft. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 to go 
go to the AVNs, my channel might have to have a booth there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you guys the guy, the guys that rank the porn stars? <laughs> You're the tournament guy, right? Yeah, the March Madness style. Yeah. They probably line out the door. I'm surprised they don't invite you. They don't give you a table there, yeah. Corey. Jeez. I'm working Corey, on it. Shoot. Well, I'd go and see that then. That's thank, cool. thank God I know Dan because I wouldn't know. He's, he's <laughs> giving think, me a list of like 2,000 stars. So. I think a performers. Performers. <laughs> cruise meet up. All your food's Ooh. paid for. Oh, yeah. All your alcohol's paid for. It wants you, you know, pay for it. But, ben uh, Graham's got a good comment there. Jessa Flux at the S'mores Indoors booth, yeah? That's yeah, she did. Go. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really cool. She was at Scarefest last year. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be at a V. I saw they're doing in, I think, I forgot where it was. I want to say it was in Indiana somewhere, a VHS convention. Oh, that I've never that done. Yeah, I've never. This seemed popular, but. I, just set me off, though, because it would just be all the really expensive VHS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you don't see those big box out in the no, wild. You probably all. find a lot of you probably find a lot of good price ones too, though. Yeah, just people trying to get doubles and shit. Speaking yeah. of big box, I did get my Silent Night Deadly Night big box sign. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. But did, what did you all think of the um what y'all think of the vendors? Somebody somebody commented on my video from today about the convention and they were like, you know, there were there was no physical media vendors there. That's so gonna have, to you're going to see more and more of that. Like, and and like my 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 reply was like, you know, like there were no like usually, you know, there'll be like one of the boutique labels at one at these things like representing. Yeah. yeah. But like the 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 day of like the 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 bootleggers at these things, see, that's over. Like you never see bootleggers I was anymore. Going to say this is the first time at a con I didn't see two things. I didn't see. A boot a bootleg booth. It's usually you know, got, it's usually the same fucking guy. <laughs> like yeah, or, VHS, PS. <laughs> yep. And no wrestlers. I've never been to a con that didn't have like mm. one wrestling adjacent person. <clears throat> I don't think they had a wrestler mind. there last year. I don't think so. I'll, I'll give you guys as somebody kind of involved in wrestling. Don't meet them at non wrestling events go to a show for 20 bucks you're not going to pay more than 20 bucks to get a wrestler signature and they upcharge it huge like a chiller and you know why let's give them a handful of somas or something <laughs> yeah. there you go. that's true there you, go. That's you can true. take scott hall home for 12 somas <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> no. but um yeah, like there was, there was, there was the one guy in the corner that had the VHS, the VHSs, and I yeah. think there there might have been one other. Yeah, there was a there was one like right uh, across from a uh, Remar and them that had yeah. a bunch. Yeah, he had nothing but that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, like it was. The, yeah, I mean, it was all eBay prices on everything. Yeah. it was worth it. Like anything you looked at, you're like, ooh, like, well, I, I'm gonna pay more than what I'd pay. Mm -hmm. I thought the prices were really reasonable on the action figures weren't too bad and autographs weren't too the bad. The autographs were Oh, killer. the fuck. All right. So everybody here probably hasn't seen the Amazon critters. Yes. They're like, oh, yeah, they're, that, yeah. they're like 35 bucks max. They're usually like 25 and everybody knows them when you see them. There was a booth there that was trying to sell them for $600, dude. Yeah, I couldn't wow. believe it. <laughs> they kind of went six hundred dollars. They kind of got sneaky with it too, because it's like up there with like the fucking uh, ghoulies, which are like a little more like mm -hmm. yeah. on the yeah. pricier I, side. I've like, never seen those ghoulies. Those ghoulies uh, were cool. Yeah, they weren't the trick or treat ghoulies. Yeah. yeah, but but they were right next to those critters, and I knew what the critters were, so. I might want to go looking for those ghoulies because they might be 20 bucks, dude. <laughs> Some I, weird I, Chinese I, site. I'm pretty sure I saw that booth, but I didn't see what the prices were. I saw the, the Amazon critters because I got one for Jeremy. He loves it, but yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I couldn't it's believe it, $600. man. $600. Like, what? Like, because that's, it's absurd. It's not like reasonable upcharge. That dude was on something. 
Mm. Well, th- there was also a booth that had shirts, and they were a lot of them Walmart horror shirts. They yeah. had them marked up 25, 30 bucks. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah they had like those button up Jason shirts that are at Walmart right now for yeah. like 14 bucks. You're like, how much was that shirt, Jonathan? This one was 15. This one was, yeah, really you can't cheap. beat that, man. That's a, that's a, that's a hell of a value. Yeah. yeah. What did, did you guys uh, get any vendor stuff? Dan, did you get any vendor stuff? I got so much. Yeah, I, I overindulged it. I think one. he bought that whole autograph booth. I, I got, <laughs> you know what? I got a lot because $20, you're not going to get that he, from anybody. He's running they were like, this next weekend at a convention. So uh, yeah. there you go. There you go. The whole thing. Uh, I, the, uh, someone got the Frankenhooker uh, autograph. I think Chris, you got Chris that. Right? Jonathan got Jonathan yeah. got the nice one in a frame. Yeah, Jeff, yeah, yeah Jeff. lucky incumbent one in a frame. I did get a Castle of Blood poster signed by Barbara Steele. Oh, uh, that was a big get. Uh, a, I don't know what a giant. Um, it's on my Instagram if you want to see it, but it's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre two. Mm. It's like a painting kind of thing, signed by Bill Mosley and Caroline Williams. It's unique uh most of that stuff honestly like the frame alone costs almost as much as what i paid so good deals i would say overall but if you're looking for movies yeah movies were lacking i'm surprised the orbit dvd wasn't up there that's what i expected to see was orbit because aren't they local to tennessee they're asheville i believe that's like close enough to come down yeah may just Uh, not economically make sense TerraVision's another one I've seen, at least in the Atlanta conventions. Oh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jake, did you get pick up anything from the uh, vendors? I did. I picked up uh, some prints. I think it was the, uh, the booth that was in the separate vendor room that have celebrities. Okay. What else did I get? And I bought some Blu-ray and a couple of DVDs. From that one vendor that had the VHS. Okay. Okay. Did y'all ever figure out what that weird VHS was? Chris? No, I, I I'm, mm. I'm upset with I'm upset with Chris that he didn't buy that. Yeah, I should have bought it. I'm I beat called? myself up about it. Uh, there's a nightmare in my closet or something. It looked look like it nightmare let's, fuel. Let's look it up on eBay. It, it's called Nightmare in My Closet. There's a nightmare in my closet or something. It was a good times like production. Is what it, it is. Oh, they were wow. advertising it as like a good times feature. Oh, Chris, you can you can get it for nine nine ninety nine. Oh, How cool. much was he asking for it there? Uh, I think that's uh, what they were asking for. Like, eight. Like, like, I think it was eight. eight. Here, here, here's one for five bucks. Word. I'm gonna get okay. it. Yeah, they, they're they are all over eBay, all over. So. You, you, and that 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 creature looks absolutely I know dude like, amazing. What is going on with it? Hold on, I've, I've got to share the screen here. Yeah, I this was curious. Ridiculous. This was just ridiculous. Award winning is what it says on the front too. So I it, I don't know I don't know what award it won, but there Oh, that the yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know yes, why I didn't buy winning. that. I should have bought it there, dude. I'm so dumb. That's like Eureka's castle. Oh, that one's new sealed, man. That is insane. Oh, but yeah, dude. go to the top. It says good times uh like storybook adventures. Like they actually made a production, which is crazy. Unless that's just like a label they decided to put on it. Award winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have got that and watched it in Jay's room because we had yeah. a VCR. And there's they, they they do have the ones that are in like the, the clamshell on here too. So wow. No. I did end yeah, up picking uh, up some of that artwork, Piz. From that, uh, uh, I ch- I covered it up. There so. we go. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I think the flare got you there, dude. You got it to where it was like it's best lit too. <laughs> it was like at the apex of where it was most visible. <laughs> Sorry, Piz. <laughs> oh was, man. <laughs> That was cool art, though. That was cool art. I think that's where babies come from, at the bottom of that fuzzy light bulb. Under that merkin? Yeah. (laughs) 
under that fuzzy I got, uh, strip. I got some Not art bad. from that person too. Uh, got Jeremy some art as well. So he, that was a talented artist. Yeah. So yeah, and there was uh, I forget the shirt company, but I got uh, I got Jeremy a, a shirt like a like vintage style Halloween with a cat on it shirt he likes. Oh nice. So uh, Stingray, did you get any vendor stuff? And this is the only thing I got at the con, period. That's a good and one, though. I couldn't yeah. remember if I needed it or not, and I'm looking at my collection, and I I think I, I do need it, so I've got it now. Hey, Dr. Giggles VHS. Nice. There you go. Anybody get to meet Larry Drake before he passed? I, I did, yeah. yeah. Nice guy. Yeah. He was uh, married to, like, some Russian, like, supermodel. <laughs> which i thought was nice. pretty wild <laughs> good for him it's one of those awkward it's like oh it's nice you bring your daughter kind of moment <laughs> so it's just like oh never mind sorry i'm an asshole <laughs> i always knew him as the bad guy from uh dark man yeah yeah Durant. Durant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah it, he he was really cool always uh, been I, weirded out by cigar cutters mm. Oh, that's yeah. true that was such a yeah. good move yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well does does anybody have anything else they want to add about the show just like i hope uh more of you guys out there in the chat come out because uh it, it was a lot of fun this was one of my absolute all-time favorites and again i've been going to conventions since about 94 so i've been to a lot I had more fun at this than I have in a long time. Very, oh, cool. very nice. Very so pretty. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Patty Mullen is is a sweetheart. If you ever get to meet her, she's. Yeah, I'd love to meet really her. Nice. It's really nice. Yeah. The con was fun and all, but I think hanging out with you guys is really what. Oh, that was what, the icing what on is the cake. The, the, the best yeah. thing in the world. So well, it was everything, was man. It was the atmosphere. It was the. I mean the. The hotel was cool, and I also, I also mean like the staff was cool. Yeah, they were accommodating and friendly. They didn't bother you anything, mm -hmm. and it's just like, yeah, it was it was great, great weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's let's go around the horn here for anybody out there who's never been to a convention but want to go. Let's let's each give them one solid piece of advice. What? Chris, what's 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 the number one advice you would give to anybody who's going to the conve uh, convention for the first time? Mm, I mean, I could go with the obvious one and say bring cash. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Dan, uh, I would say, and you know, some people are more lucky than others, but uh, go to meet your tribe. Uh, because that's really what these conventions started yeah. out as is to you know meet like-minded individuals i've never had the greatest luck uh meet you know i i have through the podcast and everything but it's hard to meet those people locally like you just yeah. almost these conventions are really for me as somebody who's obviously been to a lot as you can tell uh to meet friends, make new friends. Uh, it, it's that's what it's really all about. And uh, uh, so I, I do appreciate something like this where that old magic is still there rather than just, you know, I'm going to go meet Jamie Lee Curtis for five seconds and drop $200. I'm not judging. I got a knife buyer signed over there. But, uh, you know, it's the people that really make the cons. It is. Mm, very well said, Swaggy. You're 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 still relatively new. What's what's a, what's a good piece of it? What's something that you've learned uh, in your 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 uh, relatively new uh, experience going to cons? I think the biggest thing is uh, what what I saw Jake do, what you do, uh, probably other guys is y'all came prepared with items that are unique. Uh, they're not the run of the mill, uh, you know, the, the eight by 10 picture, uh, whether it was action figures, uh, you know, a, a movie poster, because I even have a Freddy versus Jason movie poster. And it it totally slipped my mind to even like I, I, I just didn't even think about that. Um, so I, I think that's a big part that 
from here on out, that's something I'm, I'm going to definitely pay more attention to. Mm-hmm. What about you, Corey? Well, we mentioned it earlier. I mean, if it's, if it's a convention in a hotel like this, do everything you can to stay at that hotel. You took uh, mine. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I know we had a fun time. And if I was at a different hotel, I might not have been able to have as fun a time to where I could just stumble my way up to my room from yep. downstairs. That's what we experienced at the last convention we went to at uh, Scarefest yeah. was everybody was kind of spread out. And yeah. mm-hmm. it, it really is. If, if, if you can do it, it's great to stay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, but, like, I think I've touched on it before, but it's like, you know, when we like in Scarefest, when we went to the hotel, we were having fun, but it was a normal hotel setting. Yeah. This was like an event where it was like, you know, like I said earlier, everybody was in like the uniform. You could tell everybody was there to enjoy horror and everything. And mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. you would get like cool shirt bros, you know, all the time and stuff. It's just, it adds a lot to it. A whole lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And, Jonathan, I think uh, Corey took yours. Mm-hmm. Bring enough weed for everybody. That's just porn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your chongo recipe. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm stick to the chongo recipe. <laughs> what, what is anything, chongo. That, that, anything that you think you might need, bring it if you've got room. You know, I yeah. know people that are flying in can't really do that, but I had plenty of room and brought a bunch of stuff that we didn't even do anything with. But, but if we didn't need it and had to go out and buy it, it was, it was like, I had an extra television. Like if the one at the hotel didn't work, I had one. Yeah. So. For Damn. when he says not work, like we like to plug in like, you know, like a, a VCR, for example. And, you know, I don't know what flavor of Chongo you're going to go for, <laughs> but I would recommend purple. Purple's yeah. definitely the way to go on that. That purple drink. <laughs> Y'all got the most mileage out of two free clown noses that I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> this was all weekend. But after they got I these. I had entirely too much fun with this. Yeah, after they got these, <laughs> it was over. The, those we are going to make. You got to drop them on people, man. Yours still got a butt on it, Chris. What yeah, no. My nose is too big, dude. So I got like a, I don't know if you can see it in this light, but I got like a butt crack on mine. <laughs> those of you guys uh, that are single, man, great, great way to meet women. Yeah. 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 Those, yeah. those, those, those clown noses are like aphrodisiacs. You know? Yeah. Hey, single. okay. So I'll tell the story here. Jay like nudged me at the open bar. We were like standing in line and I looked over and what he had done was he gave this chick his nose and was like, put this on. And she put it on. And then he pointed at me and she turned around and I was wearing a clown nose too. <laughs> <laughs> and she was just like, what the fuck yeah. is happening? Right I know it was probably annoying as hell to you guys, but Chris and uh, I. And this oh, was yeah, a was like great. small party. <laughs> you blew a her lot mind. Of, a lot of peacocking going on this weekend. <laughs> blew her mind uh jake what what would what wise words would you pass on to anyone uh wear comfortable shoes because you're going to be doing a lot of walking and standing mm-hmm. Those yeah. are comfortable shoes <laughs> definitely definitely or a briefcase full if you've got it yeah, or wear deodorant too. Make sure you wear deodorant yeah, too. That's, that's that's shower. Maybe the Wash your ass. Ones. There's a shower in there. Wash your ass. <laughs> you can afford to go to the convention. You can afford to put on some deodorant. Exactly. I think they should just pass out a little travel size at the door. You know, <laughs> that's probably should. make it into the price. Oh, this is what I'm people glad. do. And no, you can't do that time. unless you unless we see you swipe the deodorant. Yeah, off. you got to do one before you come yeah. in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh justin says go on friday let's busy absolutely friday is sunday friday's a great Sunday. day um, mm-hmm. saturday you wouldn't have had any issues saturday though at this convention and it's open longer so again it depends why you're going if you're just going to get autographs friday absolutely um, no, I did- i'd add if you can afford it go thursday night just hang Man, with that your was friend. nice that was yeah. nice being there yeah, mm-hmm. I like staying until Monday too, but nobody else was. So I didn't want to be there by myself. I might mm-hmm. do that next time. It's but, it's good to have a day to decompress before you have to drive back. At least because yeah. I had a pretty good drive in front of me. So yeah, yeah, and we pretty much just woke up from the hardest night of drinking we did the entire time <laughs> there and left. You got it was split. Free. 
Uh, yeah. Ben says, I make a budget and only bring the cash for the budget. Leave cards at home so I don't spend more than I need. That's uh, very smart. Very yeah. smart. It's like the strip club in that way. It'll get you <laughs> if you uh, if you hang out long enough. You'll find something to spend yeah. money on. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Didn't have those at Sunday school. I never, never <laughs> enter one of those dens of inequity. Never. Uh, yeah, all, all great advice. All of y'all, great advice for everybody. Um, I think y'all pretty much covered all the bases, really. I mean, um, I don't know if there's... Oh, and have um, a good fucking time. Cut loose. Yes, yes. Yes. Go to the events. Go to the... Forget your in, problems for a little. Go, if you're feeling like go, nervous about doing something, do it. You know why? Because we're all weird, nerdy horror people. Like, yeah. chances are you're way more well-adjusted than the rest of these guys are. So yeah. go yeah. out, make some friends. You can dance with the nun. You can. If you have the balls, you could have got right in the middle of a nun Felissa Rose sandwich. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. And they probably would have embraced it. Yeah. Yes. We'll never know now. <laughs> never know. <laughs> never know. Uh, all right. Well, uh, let's see. Let's see what's going on in the chat. If you guys have any convention related questions out there, go ahead and throw those at us. Throw uh, them. let's see. Uh, Friday night at Frightmare was less busy. Yeah. yeah that's, that's when I got all my autographs was Friday night and mm -hmm. I didn't have to wait in any I did too, man. We walked yeah. straight in and yeah. got them. Get it out of the way. You don't have to took worry my about stuff it back upstairs and got yeah. it where it was safe. Yeah. That mm -hmm. that just being able to bring it upstairs yes. and, put it and not having to walk somebody. around well, that yes. that was a twenty seven by forty in a frame. So like, <laughs> that is in, in a frame. That is another big perk of staying at the hotel where the convention's happening. You can take all your crap when it's done upstairs, yeah. put it in the room, and then yeah. So that's another big perk. It is. It is. Because <clears throat> oh. I've been at those conventions where you're just lugging stuff around. And it gets oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Brian, I could have used you at this con, buddy. Yeah, Brian, you got to come out. The yeah. trash man. There you go. Mm -hmm. Somebody pros. did, but not one of us. No, we're pros. <laughs> next so. year, next year, Dream Emulator. Next year. You, you know? can't Whatever. keep up with her, though, man. Like, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you She's don't, getting you down, don't boy. see what I saw. They were playing, like, the most, like, white people... Yeah, jams. They, oh, jam, yeah. baby. It was like white jams. O three. It was. Yeah. Just... Do you remember the? Yeah. You, no, that's you what remember... I call white people music. Do you, do you remember the woman that just randomly walked over to us and was like, "Hey, you guys, drink you some beer?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, like, walk away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was a dark man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, she just Fucking she just plant. wanted. She just wanted to, to to point out that, you know that we were yeah. You guys have some drinks, yeah. Having some beers, huh? Some beers, yeah. Okay. See you later. Well, like they went, like when I was trying to convince them to come into said party because drinks were free. Some lady like came up to me and she's like, "Who are you talking to out there?" And I pointed to all of them and she scuttled over there to go get Chris oh. and talked him into it. There you go. Yeah, a trip there free. Go. We had to go bar, get. Dude. We had to go get Corey and Dan. Like I don't know what you guys understand about free drinks. You That's said open bar, and dude, I was F R E E. Like, <laughs> you just saw a I, bunch of smoke in the shape of my body like, was, <laughs> with the, the hairpins twirling. <laughs> uh, Joe, Joe's never been to a convention either. Uh, is it bad huh? to meet your favorite actors in case things go south and it's ruined what, what you thought of them? I've never, I've never really had that encounter with a celebrity at a convention. Um, there's been I've a couple had a bad experience. Yeah. There's been a couple that were just kind of, you know, not, they didn't seem that into it, but they weren't like rude or well, one was kind of rude, but um, I would say on that, just keep in mind that they're human too, and they may be yeah. doing stuff. And hey, you yeah. may be having a bad day. I mean, some people aren't, you know, personable like that. So I mean, not hey, everybody's this, like this. That's true, but I promise you, give me sixty dollars and sign something, I'm gonna be the happiest for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, dude, oh, just, whatever. Yeah, get in here, kid. Come on. I, I would. <laughs> I would say, having been to probably well north of a hundred cons. 
I have a um, handful of bad ones. Like a handful where like it did kind of sour my view of a person, but they were they were adult performers, Dan. No, no. All of them were actually pretty nice. Ron Jeremy so. just kept trying to get him back to his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> he did he did get he did uh give me a uh ho, a, a pro, home protein shake. But then he had like a massive health scare, like a week later. So I did not. I did not try the protein. You don't want to. Don't it. ever drink the Ron Jeremy protein. No. <laughs> I'm just that saying. Brand? Yeah. That's a um. That's a special kind of milk. Yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, no, no. I was like, yeah, that's good. They were all cool. Like I said, just a handful. And sometimes it's funny stuff. I I did. There was a select. There was a celebrity, and I'm not gonna say who, that did like uh, like turn uh, in the stall, like do one of those, like look down. It's like it's like, and it's like you're doing a good job, <laughs> and then walked away, like looked right down south. It was it was walked. it was Udo Kier, wasn't it? It was uh, not Udo Kier. It was somebody <laughs> in the Euro horror vein. Okay. So oh, I, I bet. I, I bet I know who it was. I bet yeah, I won't say who because very cool person. Other than the yeah, that, have, 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 that they, have have they passed away? Yes. Okay, I know who you're talking. About. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Yeah. So there's some funny weird stuff, some funny drunk stories, but um, yeah, for the, for the most part, nothing too awful. Just a handful. Somebody I've yeah. talked about them on our show before. But, Somebody said they heard no. Linda Blair was a rough one. Yeah. I've heard that. I won't pay this year. I wouldn't I, pay for her prize. No, I I didn't have a bad time with her. I did not have a bad experience with her. Talk she about just, dogs. She'll probably have a good yeah. time. Yeah, that's what yeah. I do. That's what I do. Yeah, she doesn't care about the movies. Like it, you know. You're talking to her about Savage Streets. You know, she'll be polite. But speaking yeah. of dogs, man, this convention was like exceptionally like. Yeah. Catered towards people with dogs. With dogs. Yes. Yes. Like they even had like a really dog cool. bowl in the lobby. Very dog it was, friendly. Yes. It was awesome. I got to pet so Which, many puppies. Yeah, I appreciate it. I like dogs, but you know. Yeah, that was yeah, very. And, and, and there's there's this whole thing now with service animals where if you say this is a service animal, they'll just let you take your animal anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so. you can just like apply for it. Like there's no like, they don't need to. But, like, uh, see it or anything just put a vest just on just put a vest you can just on buy the vest yeah tell them it's a service if they try to stop you you sue them yeah who wants that <laughs> headache are you are you threatened to sue them and then they go okay come on You're, i don't care all right just pull up tiktok and all right exactly yeah Make my i am brother. seeing a lot more <laughs> yeah, say that again to me one more time <laughs> what i'm seeing That's... is like at walmart there'll be these old women with like their baby dogs you know what i'm talking about the dogs that they have substituted for their child that's long since left the house yeah like, with a spread in the like cart <laughs> like with a nice little blanket i see that all the time mm -hmm. oh yeah that's that's i see that just about every time i'm in walmart but they can't they can't stop them because they'll they'll threaten to sue or they will sue I like it. I think dogs, I, I mean, I get why you can't have dogs everywhere, but if I got to see dogs every time I went out, I'd probably be happier. So, yeah, I can't really complain. I knew a lady that had a whole room for a Chihuahua. Like, it was just his room, like, with all his stuff. <laughs> uh, Tom Savini is an interesting one. He He's all over the place when it comes to interactions. Yeah. Some people, most people, it seems like, do not have the most positive interactions with him, but I, I, I have heard of several people who have had positive interactions with him. Um, so he, it just, I've never it, had a problem with Savini. He's, he's he was nice cool. when I met him. Yeah. So, well, he ain't there to be your buddy or anything. He's very, it, he's matter not, of fact, I guess. Yeah, I here he will be your buddy. Uh, when he's I met him, um, yeah, he, him and the Ari Lehman were shooting rubber bands at each other. Like, <laughs> There's one that still cracks me. Never mind. I think, <laughs> Piz, you were probably at it the first, very first scare fest. It was a scare fest, yeah. Yeah, when they had that, that first scare fest was reunion. awesome. Betsy Palmer was there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, see, I didn't. I, I know that was a scare fest, but I wasn't at that one. I missed yeah, that. That's one. the one where they filmed all the. Uh, all the special features they put on those re-releases. Yeah. yeah, I really wanted to go to that one, but I, I couldn't make it. So Betsy was one of the funniest human beings you could ever meet. 
she I remember a Fangoria panel where she started talking about that makeup guy, Tom Savini. Like, <laughs> yeah, I saw some of his the acting he did. He shouldn't quit his day job. <laughs> was like a what lot. car did she buy with her check from Friday the 13th? Oh, oh I don't... she always talks about that. Yeah. I just wanted yeah. whatever that car was, so I did it. Like it's like a she, BMW or she something. She got the car yeah. like when she was wanting to buy the car and it just worked out. Yeah. 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 That panel at that scare fest, because Victor Miller was there too. There's the big Friday panel that she's like, I read the script and it was such a piece of shit. Victor Mueller's like right there, right next to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She didn't hold no punches on what she oh, thought no. about it either. Yeah. Well, she was, she was like, always cool, but she always loved that people loved it, which is why yeah. she could say that shit, right? Because uh -huh. she, yeah. she was just so overwhelmed that people loved her and loved that movie that many years later. That even though she didn't necessarily understand it, she, she had a lot of love for the community. Yeah. I, I would mean, have That's loved why to I know her. of her is because of that movie. I know she. Well, I'd say people of our generation. Yeah. That's that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter Brackey was telling me one time that after he um, he had interviewed her for Crystal Lake Memories, she baked him cookies and sent him cookies. Oh no! Yeah. And I was like, you you tell me you, you those are still in the freezer. Like you didn't eat those, right? <laughs> The Betsy yeah. Palmer cookies. You saved those. I, I, would, I would have at least saved one, you know, but throw them on eBay it, right after she passed away. I've been like, all right. <laughs> oh, no, I'm it, keeping that thing forever. It's cool you looking back. Certificate of authenticity on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool looking back. If you back, wouldn't mind, but... Betsy, could you just hold these while I take this hold Polaroid and yeah. hold today's newspaper? <laughs> it's, it's wild when I think. Cookies. Yeah, going back to the '90s, like who's no longer with us too. Those are really good memories. Well, what do what do conventions turn into in 20 years? Right, like when the players, the main players now, aren't doing it anymore. Who's coming to these? Con who are they bringing the, in? The headliners would be interesting. I mean, the Stranger Things kids. I, don't I mean, know in 20 years, are we all going to? Was it Samara? Jenna Weaving? Ortega. Are we all Jenna Ortega. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow yeah. Weaving, I mean, maybe they're they're okay. huge now, but most of them won't be at that point. Yeah. So. You know, maybe uh, maybe that's when uh, like Catherine Isabel will like do it at a frequency like Felissa Rose or something. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that might be where that might be where it gets small again, and it's mainly like independent horror. Maybe I'd like that. Um, I'd like that. Yeah, yeah. I guess I, smaller we can make it, the better I, I like it. So. Well, we're yeah. seeing we're seeing like the there's more and more like with with these uh, mainstream conventions, I guess, where like they're bringing in like big time people you know what i mean like chris hemsworth is at these shows yeah. freaking uh the mark you know, one go ahead sorry go ahead we had one here with bam margera like yeah at a little convention mm -hmm. but they i feel like they spent they blew their wad on bam though because there wasn't anybody else really there mm. Mm. i like keeping it horror <laughs> like i don't know about you guys but like yeah. you don't need you know, it's a horror convention. Keep There's it hard. A lot of that trying to cross over into like anime and the Comic Con type cert. They kind of try to put it all together. I'm trying to think like who's now. disappeared from that scene. Like the Harry Poor Krishna Diane. zombie. Does he still is he still alive? Yeah, he is. Okay. I don't you don't hear about him anymore. He used to beat everything. Never yeah. seen him at anything. You um, get to a point where you are kind of just played out. Um you know, I I remember going with Conrad Brooks, and you know it was just that issue. It's like Conrad, you've just been everywhere, like every yeah. week. You know, I, it's hard. I, I, I liken it to uh, wrestlers back in the territory era. Like you, you have a run, then you go off the road for a while. So pe then people start to miss you. Yeah, and, and you have another run. You know what I mean? So you yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, very, very. Daniel few, Harris, you know, uh, yeah, Kane Hodder, Michael very, Barry. Well, it's this like weird always. second career that a lot of these people have now. Like their main source of income is doing these shows. Yeah, and very, very few people can do the Kane Hodder thing, where you can just be at every show, and people will come and see. And people very, will very, always be. He's got the longest line at every show. He does. <laughs> does Lanea Quigley still do pretty well? Yeah, I've I've not seen her at a show in a long time. Chris met her a couple years ago at Scarefest. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I forgot she was there. I forgot she was at that. Got that one. poster yeah. signed right there, wherever it's at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I could see her still 
you know, being a a, a, a draw, I guess. But I don't think sure. she had a. I don't think she had a line or anything. That mm. for for the most part, you know, because that one was like Robert have... Patrick had a huge line. Hotter, yeah, oh, England. Yeah. Hotter always does, but I think people forget. Think about the amount of merch she has. There's going to be a lot of repeat business. How how much Jason merch there is? Out oh yeah, there. yeah. Oh yeah. Kane Hodder and Robert England are probably the only two who can do that at that level. Everybody else is kind of see England does it on a completely different level from Kane. Yeah, yeah. Because he does it at like quadruple the price that Kane does and has mm-hmm. more people. Yeah, keeps it more rare too. That's that's Robert yeah. England. When know? he shows, well they. Robert England dipped his toe into the con thing like 12, 13 years ago. And he did like this one off where he was in, he did a photo op in like the get up. Mm -hmm. And that was ungodly expensive. And he wore like a t shirt. But he could, yeah, he he couldn't do it in the sweater. Yeah. Because of like some kind of copyright trademark thing or something. He did it in a t shirt. So it just looked weird. It looked like Freddie, like on the weekend. (laughs) Like like after he mowed his lawn or something. Yeah. 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 (laughs) <laughs> That's a whole new thing now, though. It's the photo ops and costume. But I'm costume. Like, How I don't do you care, do you especially if it covers your face up. up. Exactly. Yeah, those are ones I don't understand. Is like the the photo op of like people in they're right. behind a mask. Like yeah, I, don't, I, don't I don't think Otter did it. <sighs> they were doing it at, at full moon. There was a couple of them that did. I think yeah, Daniel of, Harris did it in the clown. Uh, Why wow, she wasn't uh, even that. Size of a person when she did that. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like, like one of one of uh, Gunnar Hansen's one of Gunnar Hansen's last convention appearances, he did that in the Leatherface outfit. And it's like, I mean, like it, it could it could just be anybody behind the mask, really. I mean, you, you can't tell, like you know. Gunner's one. I wish I could have had man. Yeah. yeah, he was nice. I met him a couple of times. He was nice. Oh man. Um, yeah, Gunner was Gunner was a class act, one of the absolute nicest people you could meet. But he was yeah. in some of the early ones I did, just chilling out in the lobby, having conversations. There's really no one to speak of who can do a convention as Leatherface and like feel like worthy of that title. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, and here's the thing, Mernarski probably has the most claim to it next. Yeah. He at least did it twice. Yeah. 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 So, so like he has he has the next most claim to it, I would say. And he's a good leather face, but I don't like Bernarski. If you ever meet Bill Johnson, it's hilarious. Like, he hates Trump. And like anything you say to him about a movie, he'll circle it back. Comes to back Trump. around. Yeah, like it doesn't matter what it is. It could be like, man, I really loved when you killed that cheerleader and and he's like, you know what? <laughs> He'll get around to Trump. It's you know who I bet would kill a cheerleader? Trump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's funny because I've met what's the guy's name who he also did Leatherface in in Chainsaw too. Um, oh, Elmore. Elmore, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so I asked Elmore like, how much, uh, how much, how much is it? Bill Johnson is Leatherface. He was like, oh, about two minutes. <laughs> and I go, the rest is you? Yeah, the rest is me. He couldn't he couldn't lift the chainsaw. He was too weak to lift the chainsaw. Wow. <laughs> he, go, he goes, he goes, every time every every time you see Leatherface with a chainsaw, it's me. Yeah, and I he go, doesn't I, get any credit. And, yeah. and, and he gets very little credit. He's like so, so I said, you were the bash uh, situation. I think I may yeah. have asked him what what percentages is it? And he was like, um 90 something percent me. Wow. Okay. Well, I saw it scared. Was it Worthing? Is it Worthing? Warrington? Warrington Gillette. Gillette. Warrington yeah. Gillette. He's back to doing cons since Steve Dash mm-hmm. kicked the bucket. He won't. Steve Dash isn't going to whoop his ass now, so yeah, he can do him yeah. again. <laughs> I had I had a, I had a, I had a run in with him in a bathroom one time at a convention. Not was, like the same as you, Dan. Like yeah. But like I was I was at a stall and he was next or at a urinal and he came up next to me at a, the neighboring urinal and I had like a shirt and stuff around my shoulder that I bought. He like looks at me and goes. Are you having fun? No, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, Well, come over and see me and we'll take a picture or something. But I was just like, Okay, yeah, yeah. But I was just like, dude, now's not the time to pedal. You know, I mean, yeah. you're, you're yeah. rare. You know? The 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 person you gotta get this done the... quick before Steve finds out I'm here. So if you can just <laughs> Poor buddy. 
If you could just if we could just do it here in the bathroom and you can give me twenty bucks, that'd be gold. <laughs> See, that cash. He, he he doesn't he doesn't need the money. He's extremely wealthy. Yeah. Is extremely he from wealthy. the Gillette family? His his family was extremely wealthy. Okay. I don't I don't, I don't like, know if that's I don't I don't know if that's how they made their money. But you don't name your kid Warrington unless he's got a trust unless, fund. Exactly. <laughs> it sounds like a rich name. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that face too. I've always hated that guy. <laughs> now you hate him even more. He's rich. Yeah. Now I really hate him. Now I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. <laughs> like, that's for Steve, bitch. <laughs> R.I.P. Steve Dash. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> Did any of you get uh, to meet Stan Winston before he passed? That was a really cool dude too. Oh, yeah. well, well, Joe, Joe asked about special effects guys. I have, um, st I, I was at a convention with Steve Johnson one year, many years ago. He's an interesting guy. He is an interesting guy. Yeah. He, yeah. he told the craziest story. Like, like, like he's telling this very upbeat story about working with this guy on doing special effects and like, Oh, we, we worked all night and he, he was such a talented artist. And you know, we were, we were going crazy and we didn't know if we were going to get it done and we got it done and we showed it to whoever the director was. And we were like, Oh man, we gave each other high fives. We went out, we had drinks. And then the guy went home and took his life. Oh gosh. That was literally wow. the story. He told it like that too, like that. It was this upbeat, fun story. And the end of it was like, yeah. Then the guy went home and killed himself. Oh, it was a great time. Oh, Todd, like, Todd worked. <laughs> yeah, Todd worked with them on a project, and oh man, he had some wild <clears throat> stories. Oh, I bet. Oh God, stories. I you got to a, meet the yeah. uh, the Cejudo brothers, all three of them at uh, oh. Frightmare last time. That was probably the highlight of that convention for me. A big big fan of those. Those guys are all super nice. That's cool. Did you is there any meet? Oh, go ahead. Is there anybody who's on your like bucket list who you would you you, oh. you, you at the top of your list of like you want to meet at a show? And Dan, you've met so many people. Is there anybody left on your list? I mean, there's all there's some that have passed that I didn't. Jess Franco didn't get to meet no. him. Christopher Lee would have been the big one. Um, as far as living, wow. Like, I don't know that they're really, I mean, there's a lot of people whose work I appreciate out there in, you know, the acting world. But yeah, I don't know if anybody would be bucket list as in they're, you know, getting up there and not going to be around anymore that I haven't met. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Argento? I've met Argento. Yeah. Um have you met clive barker uh several times clive yeah, yeah. Of love, yeah. michelle bauer carpenter michelle bauer i have met <laughs> Bar barker just uh, uh, barker just reportedly did his final convention oh i knew that he, was yeah he, he's had health issues for a while now but still cool like you could tell not feeling great the last time i met him but sydney sweeney you'll probably get your wish you're gonna pay for her big time but yeah you to bring your playboy that. bring your playboy get her to sign it yeah she did playboy no i'm just joking oh. bring your no. copy of euphoria or something. <laughs> oh wow euphoria is cunningham probably a little tomorrow. more graphic oh cool cunningham cunningham, cunningham. Big one. yeah I'm, you I, meet I, I meant Dan? Who, I'm sorry, who? Wes Craven, did you meet him? Yes. I met Wes Craven at a convention that had him, Toby Hooper, Buzz Aldrin, which was like really surreal seeing Buzz Aldrin interact with Wes Craven. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. I mean, just, just think of all the people that you've met that are no longer with us, you know? Like, it's really staggering, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is only like one section there, but there's a lot of dead people on that wall unfortunately yeah now. that's just your eight by tens right i mean some of them yeah you've been doing cons for like a really long time though so 94 then like 95 is when yeah. I got the bigger ones you know, have you on. have you met peter bark i have not <laughs> i have not He's at the top of my list for sure. Well then that that would be a bucket list pick for sure. Mm, my yeah. God yes Yes. Yeah, a lot of that, those Euro horror stars, there's some of them that I haven't 
gotten to meet, but uh, Chiller, when they started doing Italian Invasion, I got to knock a lot of those guys out. So, yeah. That's cool. Fault you would have uh, been cool in the meet. Fault you would have been I cool. I could yeah. have gone to that, too, which is still like a gut punch. Yeah. Who's on who's on your wish list, Stingray? I don't really even know, man. I kind of got Carpenter out of the gate. Like he was one of my first ones I ever met, and he was like at the top for me at the time. So <clears throat> not the not the warmest guy, but you know, I wouldn't say that, you know he was more concerned with the Lakers game than whatever was going on in front of me, you know. So. Oh yeah, man. He's he, me and Carpenter, but, I'd probably get along pretty well with Carpenter if I just, you know, flash a little baggy at him. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go hit up the Elantra. <laughs> yeah, the Elantra. <laughs> oh, Lord. John Carpenter just walking with me to the Elantra. So what is this thing now? <laughs> uh, Chris, who's on your uh, wish list? Well, like, uh, I would have liked to have met John Carl Beekler. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's nice. I'd like to meet Screaming Mad George, Frank oh. Hennon Lauder. Yeah, Jeffrey oh, yeah. Combs. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Hennon Lauder. I've met Hennon Lauder. Met, a wild old guy. <laughs> I've met a couple like Linnea Quigley and Lloyd Kaufman were on that list for sure. Barbara Crampton. And I've met those. So those are big highlights. Very cool. What about you, uh, Corey? So it's not a horror person, but um, I have this picture, but I'd like to meet the guy in person. I know he's not a great guy, but. Uh, ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Talk about he's a great guy. He's he's very nice to me. He's an American he's not, hero. He is yeah. an American hero. I want to go to his uh, like restaurant bar. Yeah, yeah I do too. Yeah. He was just so, such a huge figure for me when I was a kid growing up, so. Sure. He's going to be at something soon. Uh, I saw he he was cutting some promo. He's going to be at a convention somewhere soon. He was cutting some promo mm-hmm. on it. Yeah, Nick will be somewhere doing community service sometimes. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, so oh, Justin Smith says Hulk Hogan just increased his signing prices this weekend. That makes sense. WrestleMania weekend. How you much? How much are his prices? How 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 much is a uh because Hulk Hogan was Hulk Hogan was at a convention that I was at, but they had him like hidden away, like he wasn't just there for everybody. See, you had to like go through a, a beaded curtain to, to you're gonna be at least a hundred bucks. What's awesome about that picture I have is I got that back in the day when you would just send envelopes with index cards hmm. to people, you'd find their address, and I sent four index cards he sent all those back signed plus that picture so that was really cool. awesome nice what does what does did, did he personalize the he's like you know no it's just hey brother or, yeah. okay <laughs> maybe he'll recognize you from the tournaments Corey. Maybe. let me tell you something brother jenna jameson was right <laughs> we'll, we'll get you on the next one uh, brother see i would i would love uh, when it comes to wrestlers i would love to meet scott steiner and i would love to meet well i mean uh, the warrior's gone but i would have loved to have met him Steiner's, um, Steiner's really cool I've met him. yeah oh yeah i'd love to meet him he's, so. he's like a lot shorter too than you would imagine he's almost my height mm. Uh, he's, not very tall. he's one of those guys that like keeps having back surgery and loses like two inches every year. Uh, yeah. That's geez. a thing. Yeah. Um, Swaggy, who's on your list? Mm. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Michelle Bauer, and I, I heard that she doesn't really do too many conventions. Um, so I don't know how I'd ever run into her, but I would like to get Linnea Quigley. Uh, Dan, have you ever met Julie Strain? I know she's passed away now. But. Uh, yeah, I actually, a couple times, she was awesome. Really sad story, too, but awesome. Yeah, that, that would have been on my bucket list, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure Michelle, there's tons of others, but. Michelle Bauer does occasionally do conventions. So, I mean, just keep mm. your keep your yeah. eyes open. She does them. She'll, she'll usually be booked with, like, Linnea <laughs> and Brink. Brink, yeah. All. All of them are awesome. Brink is 
wonderful. Michelle Bowers, uh, fantastic. I think in Knox, there's a, I think it's Knoxville. There's a con. They're all three going to be there. Oh, nice. It's the, uh, are you, uh, what's uh, that one? The, the Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain. Yeah, that's, that one's in Kingsport. Kingsport. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I think they have, all, a, they have a crazy uh, lineup. Yeah, they do. They've, go. got, they've got a wild lineup. I was thinking about going to that one too. I don't know. We'll see how that one turns out. Smoky uh, Mountain. It's yeah. called um yeah uh, Terror in Smoky Mountain or something. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's in Kingsport. Okay. Um yeah. Oh yeah, Smoky Mountain Terror. Yeah. yeah. Uh Slaughterport. Anybody on your wish list? Ah. Oh, I've met the two that were already Warwick and Jeff Burr. I got to meet him before he passed. Uh, uh, but like right now, I'd be still ain't got to meet Charles Van. Jim Warnowski would be cool. Oh, yeah. Jim yeah, Abel, yeah. Walter, that would be cool. That's the people I want to meet now. People that had the impact on me. I've seen all these movies as a you know, kid, and grew up with them. So Jeff Burr was probably the nicest guy I've ever met. We've talked for probably 30 minutes and he signed two VHSs and an 11 by 17. And he even signed an 11 by 17 for my wife and my kid. 10 bucks. When I met him, um, I don't remember how much it was, but I mean, like we, we got into this big long conversation about how awesome Terry O'Quinn is. And uh, oh, oh, I took him. I took him a, a chainsaw three poster. And during the course of our conversation about how awesome Terry Quinn was, he was like, "Well, here." And he grabbed a stepfather poster and signed it for me too. Really nice guy. I, I was actually he and I had been in touch not long before he passed away about him coming on and doing a bloodstream. Uh, it had been awesome. Yeah, I got to meet. It was in. It, I don't even know if it's six months later after I met him. He he had passed away. Yeah, very sad. Uh, let's see who who like uh, Betsy Palmer. I would have loved to have met. Of course, Toby Hooper. I would have loved to have met. That would have been a huge one for me to have met Toby Hooper. Um, Craven, of course. I mean, like at this point now, like I, I mean, did you met Carpenter? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Romero is one I didn't get to meet that I would have I, I did get I mean, to meet Romero. I did get to meet Romero. Ar, Ari, good. I'd say Ari Aster and Robert Eggers. I mean, they're sure. you know future legends. Mm -hmm. They'd be up there. How long yeah, Romero Rob was a super how nice Rob guy. Zombies doing these? I, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I mean, they're kind of up his alley. It's going to happen. I feel I'm like sure you'd be walking happen. around them a lot. I like Rob Zombie. I know he gets a bad rap, but hey, dude, like House of Thousand like Corpses music. is yeah. amazing. It's one of I'll us. Fight anybody who says different. Yeah. It's gonna House of yeah, Thousand Corpses. He's a horror nerd. What he is? House of a Thousand Corpses is my favorite Rob Zombie movie. Oh, it's great. Yeah. He, he'll be he'll be he'll be on the scene soon. He'll be out mm -hmm. there. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Oh, so gonna, there's demand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll get there and be like, wait, this is a thing. This is. Oh, he they knows. do these every weekend. He yeah. knows. He knows. It's just he gonna knows. be a be. It's just gonna be in attendance. He's he's just he's just biding his time. He'll be there. He'll oh, be. It'd be a big draw too. He absolutely. He no a huge yeah. draw. I can already tell you, dude. He'll bring Alice Cooper with him. Like they'll do the gruesome twosome uh, signing. Yeah. It's a great combo. Bring his, yeah. bring his wife with him. Oh yeah, you know Sherry'd be right there. In the, well, yeah, he casts her in everything. <laughs> Sherry'd be right there too. There's no doubt about it. Fishing with Fish Gall. He also said he'd never do a sequel. That's true. That's true. That's true. He said a lot of things that he's gone back on. So maybe that's one of them. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. All it's gonna take is for a little bit of money to drive for Rob uh, because I don't think he's like he's rich. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's like set for life rich especially probably where he lives mm -hmm. uh, here's a question for you guys what do you think this next wave of conventions of the movies from like the mid 2000s you know and like uh, like jamie blanks i know you have him on 
why hasn't he done a convention? I think I think he'd be pretty popular with Valentine sure. and Legend. Um, but there's going to be a new wave eventually of, of these guys. There's got to be, right? I've asked I've asked Jamie if he's ever been asked to do a convention, and and, and nobody's ever reached out to him. I don't so, get it because I think I mean because these are a lot of people that nobody's got. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of these people that are conventions, they're at conventions every weekend. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I mean, Jamie would be, be Jamie would be great. I mean, he would sure. just he's he's again he's one of us. So I mean, meeting him would be, you know, just like hanging with one of us. They, they should do like Final Destination reunion or something. I have like a few mm-hmm. of those movies and all the people from them because mm-hmm. I love those movies. See, you could bring in Mike Mendez and like it, Ralph Koneski. Is he, yeah, still around? Yeah, yeah. Joe, yeah, Joe Lynch and Adam Green. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, like, I'm sure Dan, you're gonna know more biz. Y'all, y'all gonna know this, but I always thought it kind of depended on who represented you, and then that, like, it was like that group kind of brought you in, and that was how you got involved with those. Does that make sense with the conventions? I mean, a lot of conventions work with. The, the particular agent, right? Yeah, the, like that. So if you get on with that yeah. that agent, then that kind of comes with you know that's offered to you. Yeah, the, the convention's more. not calling like the celebrity at their yeah. house. You know, no, or, yeah, yeah. So they'll 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 get up with whoever the agent is, and 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 sometimes the agent will go, well, if you want this guy, you got to take this guy too. Yeah, or they bring their other clients with they'll, them. They'll, yeah, they'll, so. yeah, they'll create a package deal or something. There's there's also a lot of politics that go on in that world too. So, um, yeah, yeah. Especially now, there's such a big like, I don't know, you know, there's '90s con. There's mm-hmm. there's such a draw to whether it's Full House or you know uh, horror or you know just whatever anime. It's like yeah. you can be in a lot of different fields and still get into somewhere. There's somewhere that someone's wanting your autograph or a picture with you or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll you start seeing just random people in like, like Patrick Wilson from the conjuring. That right, might right. be like your next. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Right, no, he's a great, he's a great actor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hard candy probably is more what I would <laughs> get an autograph. Yeah. From, yeah. You know? Love hard candy. Yeah. But there are people out there. It just depends. Uh, I think sometimes we do, not we don't realize like there are people from the 2000s that maybe didn't hit it huge that people do remember and grew up with so well you're yeah. getting that new age of fans too it's by uh, yeah going to horror convention you can see the difference in the young yeah yeah mm-hmm. well one of the one thing about the the like scream queens is like there's no Linnea Quigley from the 2000s really is there I mean, uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, yeah. If you go, you still yeah. got. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of joking, but I, I, who I mean, want to be? But you're kind of right, though. Too. <laughs> she would be a headliner. I mean, that she would. Line would be insane. There's no doubt. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, oh, what's her name from uh, Thirteen Ghosts and American Pie? Ah, Shannon Elizabeth. Shannon Elizabeth. She, yeah, she does conventions. Her. She's done conventions. Yeah. But She's, like. Rebecca Gayhart, I know she does conventions, but she's mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. From- she started, yeah, she started to get out there. Yeah. Sarah Michelle Geller. I don't oh, think yeah. she's done one yet. I don't think she's done anything yet. Not really, not as much as you would expect. I think she might have done a few Buffy related things, but yeah, she doesn't do mm. the circuit. There, I- there's popular movies like Happy Death Day. You could get Jessica Roth. Mm-hmm. Star of those, like, mm-hmm. but it's weird. We they don't become names, even though they're in hits you know I, I don't think most people could come up with that name ben yeah. brings up Catherine isabel that's a really good one mm-hmm. has she has she she's done conventions hasn't she she has just not she's not like a regular like you'd expect yeah 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 angela bettis would be great to meet yeah i'd love to meet angela bettis mm-hmm. yeah 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 she's she's cool she has it, done it, them again just not as often as she should and, and Lucky McKee too. Get him. Get, you know, get them both to sign a May poster for me. I'd love, love to meet both of them. Yeah, the woman. Exactly. Yeah. 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 
Mm. Well, let's. We've been going for about two and a half hours talking about um, the Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival from last weekend. Just talking about conventions in general. Throwing out there some pointers if you're going to be attending your first convention soon. Talking about people we'd like to meet at conventions. Um, yeah. So why don't we why don't we wrap things up there? Um, it was just a blast getting to hang out with all you guys. I, I, I've met most of you before. Um, Swaggy and uh, Jake, it was my first time meeting you guys. It was great meeting you guys. Uh, but yeah, it was just a great weekend. And hopefully we can all do it again soon. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, right on. Uh, Chris, where can we find you on social media? Uh, slash your own video on YouTube. I'm going to be making a, I have my like montage kind of video ready. It should be up tomorrow. I have a couple other videos about full moon coming and retrocrypto.com to buy yes. cool Retro. horror shit. Yes. Get on there. Uh, Dan, where can we find you? Uh, I'm flesh wound features on YouTube. Uh, I'll show off the probably insane hall video on the next hat man um also hold on we've got a everyone on this panel looks like professional poker players i love that, there <laughs> I love you that. Go. <laughs> thank, thank you Blake Star. Though, but... <laughs> uh X, xpw baptized in blood is coming up they're bringing that back so check that out and on april 27th kruger is going to be going up against the deathmatch legend mosh pit mike and a no ropes barbed wire match in amarillo texas wow so that wow. one's good kruger's been racking up the body count but this one's gonna be rough i i think if i'm just gonna say this if anybody out there's friends with kruger now's the time to let him know how much you care because i think he's <laughs> he's probably not going to be with us much longer so oh I think he's going to take out Mosh Pit, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Swaggy, where can we find you? Uh, I'm on Instagram. Uh, that's really about all the social media I do, but it's John's underscore cool underscore world. But thanks for having me on, Piz, and I'm glad that I got to meet all y'all at that convention. Yeah, it. man. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, Swag. It was great meeting. For sure, man. You fit you fit right into the group like so perfectly. Yeah. It was like <laughs> it was weird. You know? <laughs> I've been waiting on you guys for a long time. I didn't know people like you existed. So uh, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. We're in those dark you. corners and crevices. <laughs> <laughs> uh Corey, where can we find you? S'mores and doors on YouTube. Uh going to have a VHS ranking show here soon. Uh, segments mm. and the movies. We're going to go through all those. <clears throat> and um, I'll probably be live Monday during the eclipse. So, mm. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, where can we find you? You're muted. You can find me on Region Free Season 3 on the 13th of every month. Yes. Okay. Jay the Stingray, where can we find you? I'm uh, Jay the Stingray everywhere, uh, YouTube, uh, X, Instagram, all that good stuff. And uh, Cole and I do a show. We try to do one every week, uh, the movie discussion, Pocket Dimension, over on YouTube. Right on. Jake, where can we find you? Slaughterport on YouTube and pretty much everywhere else. All right. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you to everybody who tuned in tonight. Uh, thank you for all the great comments and the great questions we we uh, we appreciate that very much and um oh and uh, nico thank you very much for the super chat that is very uh very kind of you we've got we've got orc in the chat he's wanting to leech what does that mean suck our blood don't do that orc don't do that <laughs> there, there, there's still some purple chongo flowing through some of our yeah, veins you, don't, you, you might don't kill yourself with the amount of chongo running through these oh veins. guys i kind of have a an update here uh, okay. One hour ago, the Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival announced no. that next year's dates Ooh, are nice. the 18th, 19th, and 20th of April. April? Uh, Good. 420. 420, uh, I'll be there. Uh, all right. Mark your all's calendars. I can handle that. Green Chongos. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, geez. 
All right, mark your calendars. That's next year um, in April. Interesting. Yes. I like it. I like it. All right. Well, thank you all. Thank you, gentlemen, for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you all for uh, for kicking it with me and uh, reminiscing about last weekend's festivities. It was great meeting you all and uh, or hanging out with you all. So, yeah. All right. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you again real soon. Be safe. Take it easy and peace.